what a what a great way to uh, to start the finals, Mike. I thought that was excellent. It was very good, wasn't it? Yeah, I uh, thoroughly enjoyed that. Right. Sorry, That's just, it. just put Mark's headphones back That's in. That's it, I'm back again now. So well done to Pino. Well done to the Pimo goalkeeper who scored a penalty and saved the two saved penalties. Two. Yeah, that was really good. So the uh, the results on the table are, are now on screen for the viewers for the league. Um so the final is between uh, Walden and Sammy. Yeah, so we'll have Walden in blue bibs with um, the Walden maroon shorts. shorts. And Shammy will be in the red and black shirts, black shorts, black socks. Or even red socks. Oh, sorry, red socks. Yeah, you're right. And the referee is not is the one and only Mark Walker. Devon Council member Mark Walker who does a lot of uh, refereeing for the disability yep. leagues. And well, he's, the, uh, he's the council rep for the uh, the Ability Council League. He is, yep. So here we go. T oh, two captains are... Coming up to meet the officials. Yeah. There's always one that's the goalkeeper as well. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you just hope that should he win the cup that he don't drop it. That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it, for a goalkeeper? Mm. Well, of course, you were here and, and, and did. Uh, I think Mr. Walker is just about to start the game. We're waiting yep. for that now. Like I said, Walden in the blue bibs and Shamwickshire are in the red and black. Red and black, yep. And we're underway. And we're underway. It's, uh, yeah. Don't know what this was going to be like. We didn't see much of the league. Um... <laughs> oh, corner, oh, corner to, uh, straight away to Walden. To Walden, they yeah. Got their heads up already. Yeah. Shammy, I think, by the results, are probably the favourites. Well, no, Walden seemed to score a lot of goals, yeah, didn't they? But so Shammy did beat them, didn't they? Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's gone a in. Sticky one, and it's gone in. It's gone in. Oh, he caught the goalkeeper by. So oh, and there we go with the celebrations. Oh, I love these yeah. celebrations. Shoo. <laughs> <laughs> I think they caught the goalkeeper a bit by surprise there. I think it did, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Walden won now up inside the first minute. Yep. <laughs> we've got we've had a goal in the final. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <coughs> oh goalkeeper settled on that one. Yeah. Oh, good chance. Oh. Chance, chance. Yeah, he had a go. Yep. Oh, well played. Chance. Oh, chance. what a ball back. Go on. Shot. Oh, oh. left foot shot. Good bit of defending. Oh, here comes the man that hit a hit one before. Oh, what oh, a what shot. shot. What a what save. What a save, yeah. Oh, this is turning out into a great game already. It is, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic Corner game. to Shamwickshire. Yeah. He kept that down well, didn't he? He did, didn't he? Yeah. Still rising as the goalkeeper yeah. hit it. Had his head over the ball and hit it, hit it perfectly, really. Yep. So, corner to Shammy. Is it going to be pulled all the way back? Yeah. Thought it may be. Yeah. Is he going to hit it? Bobby's going to hit it. He is. Oh. Good bit of defending. And it's gone out, cleared away, uh, throw into Shami. I recognise a few of these um, 
Chamois players from Biddeford's St. Luke's Cup final. Yes. They were there supporting Biddeford. Yeah, they were. Rather vocally. Yes, they <laughs> were. <laughs> they had a great time, though. Oh, what skills. Uh, what a run that is. Go on, hit it. Shot. Oh, great what save. a save again. Oh, wow, banged. this is great football. Keeper banged his head as well. I yeah, think. he has, but what a save. Yeah. Keeper banged his head then. This is a good competition between the goalkeeper and the chamois number... 20, I think it is. Yeah. I'm not sure. He's got a great foot, or left, a sure. right foot on him, hasn't he? Yeah. I'd like a hairstyle like that, wouldn't you? At number 12 it is. Mark, you like to have hair to start with. Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. yeah. There's more my style, number 23. Yeah. <laughs> good ball. That is a Very good ball. Very good ball. Cut inside now, yeah, defended well. Defending, yeah. And cleared. Yep. Cleared into space. That was A space, not space. A space, yeah. That's, they're knocking it around well, yeah. Shammy, yeah. But both teams are, are playing some Well coached, yeah, yeah, they are. Both of them are very well coached. Oh, yeah, he's and he's off again. Oh, oh. oh they're going to start peppering the goal now. Yeah, another, good another save. great save. Yeah, another good save. Yeah, another great save. Yeah, he's having a great game, the keeper. I think the number 12 is working on the laws of averages with his shooting, well, isn't if he? I, if I hit one, one, one will go, go in. in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And to be fair, he wasn't far he's away. He's not <laughs> far away every time. No. So Pino are, Pino are coming back now like, with their trophy. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. I wonder if we can grab one of the girls for a little interview in a minute. Oh, um, Nathan Bachelor is uh, is watching again. Yeah, and more finals. Nathan oh. Bachelor must must just sit at home in Doncaster and watch all our games. Yeah, absolutely. Finals. Welcome, welcome, Hiya, Nathan. Nathan. Good to see you, or yeah, see your name. <laughs> no, we can see Nathan. No, look, oh yeah, got a picture of him. Does, does the keeper want to join Doncaster Rovers? No, um, he's joining Plymouth Argyle, mate. Because <coughs> we need him more than you do. <coughs> but no, it's uh, it's great, and that, that we've. I mean, everyone's stayed and watched, watching this one final. Yeah, it was just lovely to see as yeah. well, isn't it? This yeah. is where the sportingness of this uh, mm -hmm. disability family come in. Yeah, they indeed. all stay and watch. Indeed, yeah. It's great, isn't it? Chance. Chance. No. Just wouldn't uh, just wouldn't fall. Uh, Crowding him out. Yeah. They do play good football, these teams, though, don't they? Oh, like? yeah. They the do, standard yeah. of the league. Shot. Oh, oh it's the crossbar now. No, it didn't oh, go in. Oh, my word. It didn't go in. No. <sighs> wow. He's done everything but score. Yeah, the standard of the league section has gone. Oh, and uh, that one's that one's sailing through, and it's going to go in the net at the bottom end of the yeah. Coach Road Stadium. Yeah. Oh, we're just going to get the get a ball. We've got the net up, and it's still not not. Uh, not high enough. No, it's not, is it? Never mind. Hopefully, the referee's stopping the will this watch. Yeah, I think so. Because we're in, we've, we're past six minutes already. So, uh. well, is Ash going to come up here? If he Ash? is, no, he is. No, uh, no, Ash is just ignoring us. He's, he's Ash is doing so much here, as as per normal. So Wolden well, well on the attack. Good ball. Another chance. Oh, great bit of defending. Shot. Yep. Oh! That was a great shot off the post, off the keeper, and then went in. It went wide. Sorry, didn't go in. I don't know what game I'm watching. 
Oh, go kick. We've got a Pino ladies player coming up to have a little chat. She's going to have a chat. Well, at yeah. half time, we'll have a quick yeah. two minute chat. We'll do that. And then. Uh... Oh, oh, the post. Hit the post. I'm just that's leaving it. you again. That's it. Oh, we got the. No. Yeah, that's half time. Right, gents, this is a little bit of a special occasion here now. We've got Harriet, who played for the Pinot team. And uh, she's just come up here and she's proudly showing us the cup that she she's bought, won. She brought the trophy with her. That's good. Harriet, how do you feel about that game? Very excited. It was amazing. It's like a wonderful experience because I've never been in a team with disabilities. And compared to watch normal football, it's completely different to watching these play. So it's very interesting to play different football with people that's got kind of the same needs as you have. Yeah. So good. it's not like you don't feel left out in the other teams. Excellent. That's good. And, and, and Devon FA, they do try to put on a show for you. And uh, they, treat, they treat you the same as the mainstream footballers that come here and uh, play their cup finals. Which is always nice for everybody, I think. Yeah, I and... Um, We've got um, quite a few teams here, like you say, all mixed abilities, and, and you all get on, I think, don't you? We all get along as, as like our team is like a massive family together. Like we're always here for each other, for no matter what and stuff. So it's kind of nice to have that to come and join a team for like you like know how to play football, but you're not good at it, and then you just joined, and then it's like changed your life completely. That's lovely to say, and, and that's what we try to do. So that something's working for us that way. So how do you feel? How do you feel about winning the cup? I didn't expect it to happen, really. Um, it's very exciting, but I got nervous at the same time. So it's a win-win, basically. Brilliant, brilliant. And mm. is that your coach stood behind you there? Should we get a word from her as well? Yeah. Come on. First of all, what's your name? Anna. Anna, I bet you're really proud of your team today, aren't you? Yeah, I am really proud. They've done amazing and they were so calm in the last game and took those penalties and it was, it was just great to watch. The goalkeeper, two saves and one penalty scored. What can you say? Yeah, Maya did amazing. She's absolutely amazing. She just saved both those, both those penalties and scored one. So that, that really helped us win the, win the cup in the end. Good. Well, well done to you both. Enjoy the rest of your day and hopefully well we'll see you here again next year. Right, so we're, we're underway in the um, second half of the league uh, final. Good. Yeah, that was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, yeah. We we apologised that the the um, the camera wasn't quite set up right. You know, did, did they get it in the end? All they, right, I got a bit got of it. The yeah. two of them. Good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we know what the roof of the stand <laughs> looks like. That's that's <laughs> the main thing. So we're away still here. It's yeah. one 0 to Walden. Yeah, not quite sure how, but they are. Yeah. Is it first time? Oh, oh, oh that's just so wide. close, so close. Just wide. Yeah, I, how, how Shami didn't score in the in the first half? No, quite sure. and Walden also could have got another one just before the half time. Couldn't yeah, they? yeah, keeper made a good save onto the post and then uh, went out for a corner. So yeah. Oh, oh nutmeg. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and uh, another one. Here he goes. Got to be, in it? Oh, oh, what defending. What Look at that. And he's milking it as well. <laughs> what a save. Oh, what a bit of defending, not a save. Oh, it was a great dear, bit of defending. Dear. We've had it all in this final how already. He, how did he get across to that? Yep. That was brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Balls in and keeper saved it. Oh, stayed in. Oh, chance. Oh. No, and away it goes. Again. Here we come. He's going to hit it. Oh, slipped. No, not that he, time. He slipped as, yeah. he, uh, as he knocked it then. I was going to say he did a Gerard, but I won't. Oh, no, I'm not getting involved in I'll that. Because yeah. I'll end up in Facebook jail and yeah. you're on your own. Yeah. 
and Mr. Haywood won't speak to you for years. Might be worth saying it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. No, because I'd miss out on all those jokes. He's going to take a shot. Oh, uh, and again, stop they by just the get in the way. Yeah. They're just getting in the way of everything. It's oh, in. he scored! It's in. Oh, it's a young lady. The young it lady is. scored it. Sorry, um, yes. and that's me saying he scored. Yes. Well played. It was coming, I think. It was pinging around in the box. Fell it, to her, and she hit it. And yeah, absolutely. And it's gone in. Wow. So that's one each. Yeah. Here we go again, then. Yeah, Kicking well. off Walden. Bolden on the attack on their left. Yeah, by the lad that did that tremendous tackle at the yeah. end of the outside the pitch there. Uh, good, the goal good, there. Good tackle and it's gone out for a yeah. Bolden throw. Good throw. What uh, is he going to knock it back? Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh he's still, still got it. Still got it. And again. Oh, oh no. That was a great, great tackle, tackle. And our, the young and lady's on her way, way again. Yeah. Number 20. Yeah. Oh. Oh, unfortunately. It was a good tackle. Came back yeah, off her. It and was uh, very good. Another substitution coming in yeah. for uh, Walden. Nobody wanted to come off then, I don't think. No. They were enjoying themselves. No. Yeah, she's keeping that. Nobody's having that one. Yeah. What a well-spoken young lady, too. Yeah, she is. Yeah. yeah, superb. So throw into Walden. Uh, just inside their own half. A good break. He's going to run out of space, I think, isn't he? No, good, but he's laid it off. Can they get the ball in the oh, middle? Oh, he's a good stopper, isn't he? Yeah. No, oh, no, she's, no, she's, she's free. on her own. She's Number free. 20. Oh, oh, and he's back again. Back again. <laughs> what, a, what a great tackle that was. <laughs> he's done it again. I'm going to say that's two goals that he saved. He saved, yeah, definitely. You know. Yeah. Between him and the goalkeeper, Walden are still in it. Yeah, well, that's all they need. And... Uh, comes the corner. Straight into the goalkeeper's hands. Yeah. Uh, keeper's released it quickly. Yeah. Chance th on this side for uh, for Walden. Yeah. What's the shot like? It's going to hit it. Well defended. Well defended, yeah. Not afraid to get in the way, are they? No. Definitely not. Coaches are very uh, vocal in this yeah, one. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Another throw into Walden. And the, the, who are putting the pressure on now. They're, they're vocal, but it's really good encouragement. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's proper encouragement as yeah. well, which is always good to see. Good turn. Well, great turn. Good tackle too. Great tackle. And away it goes Sorry. again. Oh, just over it. Poor a number bit. twenty. They, if they yeah. got it to her feet, I think it's gone uh, through to the keeper. Released it. Chance now for Walden. Three on two. Yeah. Oh, good ball. Good ball. Oh, oh he stood on the ball, unfortunately. Yeah, he's all right. Still going. Oh, oh and away he goes. This is, this is it. Oh, good ball. This is it, unless he gets back. There oh, it is. Oh, she's done it again. She's done it again. Number 20 with another great goal. Well put away. Right, right on 12 minutes. Absolutely. She's a cool cookie, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Well played, the number 12, who... Uh, Saw her free there and got yeah, it through to got her. It through to her. And that's it. And it's all over. That's the last kick of the game. Shamwickshire Rovers win the cup. Yeah. There you go. Last second winner. Yep. I think we'll try and get hold of somebody to come up and have a chat with us for that this team as well, yeah. if we can. Why not? That would be really good. That would be absolutely. What a great final. Yeah, that was good football. Though that was both two, teams two, playing two good really football. Good yeah, we've absolutely, seen so far. absolutely. So, uh, yeah, no. That was uh, that was superb. Look at the smile on her face. 
Yeah. She's just gone and uh, celebrated with, I assume that's family members, but the yeah. smile on her face. Yeah, you know, two, two goals, goals in the cup final. How about that? There's not many people that have scored two goals in the county cup final. No. Nate's back. back. Yeah. Nate's what back. What a game that was. That was a fantastic that game, wasn't it? That was one of the best it? games I've seen in ages. Yeah. That Superb. was a fantastic game. Superb. There's Still some that keeper, though, some one of the saves. poor old. Yeah. Uh, well done I think player. it's a chamois player, isn't it? That's a Walden player. Oh, is it? Yeah. 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 But uh, no, that was uh, what a what a great and, game and yeah. the great advert for football. The number twelve for chamois is there trying to cheer him up as well. Yeah. How good is great that? Yeah, really really is. that? Superb. Great atmosphere as well, wasn't it? it, it just, shouting. yeah. 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 Well, like what we like to see. Lots of lots of real encouragement and yeah. uh, it was fantastic. Fantastic to Absolutely. see. Absolutely. Yeah, so the, so you'll be able to see now who's who's won. Because on screen it says there's a big chamois badge. I'm gone again. Winners. Oh, I didn't realise you were here, Mike. Yeah, so uh, there you go. Shami now uh, getting their uh, trophy. There you go. So that's the uh, the team getting their trophy, and then they'll they'll go off down to the uh, clubhouse where there's the all the advertising hoardings, and uh, they'll get their uh, individual ones done and their photos. Um, and then we wait for uh, this afternoon's action, which is absolutely. Which is Mr. W uh, Mr. Bailey, um If I can get in my inter paperwork. Intermediate and senior. Intermediate, senior, and premier. And premier yeah. is at two, I think. Yes, it? it is. So yeah, there you go, Nate. That's uh, and the standard of football will go higher and higher as we go. That's that's a start. And yeah. we've had a really good start with these two two cup finals, haven't we? So it can only get better now. I'll see if we can get somebody from Sandwichshire's playing side and a coach up for another interview in a minute. Yeah. Be really good. Yeah, that was, uh, that was really, really good. Enjoyed that. Thoroughly enjoyed that final. Not long enough, is it? 12 minutes each no. way. No. No, but uh, for that for that entertainment, I, you could watch that for ninety minutes, couldn't you? Definitely, could, yeah, yeah, definitely. Some great know. saves from the keepers as well. That's yeah, some phenomenal. Yeah, um, just going back to the comments. Uh, brilliant game from Nathan Bachelor. End to end, great skills, safe defending, played in a great spirit. Yeah, it was Nathan, and it was uh, it was absolutely fantastic. And and that's what we that's what we want yeah, from uh, yeah. all of our finals. Um, and then uh, Sam Stevens, brilliant from Shami. Well done, the whole club. Uh, what a great watch. Yeah, it was a great watch. I uh, don't think I've ever cheered so much in the winner. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was quite loud here, actually, yeah, wasn't it? Was, yeah, yeah, it was. And it, and it reminded me, you, you said it earlier, about uh, when Biddeford were here. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and that was the sort of atmosphere that we were getting towards then with, with that uh, Shami team. It was getting towards, you know, that sort of level yeah, of. Uh, uh, yeah, it was. It was really good. I enjoyed that. And now uh, there's a big, there's a big switch over now of all the the new teams coming in, uh, and the so senior teams and the fixture list is on screen now. Um, the uh, intermediate will be coming shortly. So what teams have we got in this? We have uh, in the senior, sorry, intermediates on the screen now. So in, in the intermediate, we've got Pinho, 
Walden, Exeter City and Torquay United. And in the senior, we have Exeter City, Northern Lions, Plymouth Argyle and Pinno. Um, Hopefully some more good matches. Yes, we will. Yeah, we will indeed. Um yeah, the it looks like it looks like the intermediate is being played to the left hand side of us. Right. Yeah. Oh, no, the left. Right. <laughs> no, left. <laughs> and and uh, the senior is to the right. Right. Yeah, that is the right. Yeah, yeah. that's that way. And I presume that uh, the standard of the playing side of things go up a notch now it's to um, each one. Yeah. Yeah. It will be. It will be a fantastic. Um, from now on in, I mean, it's all been good. Yeah, but you're yep. right. This this ramps it's getting up, further and further. This ramps up a little bit now. Yeah, and then ramps up again. Um, but yeah, you'll you'll find and you, that these players will be really really good. I've just seen a plate of sausage and chips go across I know, the. Uh, I know. I've just seen that as well. The walkway there. I know. I've just seen that. I don't know where that's come from. Beginning to feel hungry now. From. You know what I mean. I do know where it's <laughs> come from, but um, yeah. In fact, right. Do you want a cup of tea? I'd love a cup of tea. Nate, do you want a drink? Uh, yeah, sure. Right, what I'll do, right? Because, I mean, as we know, Joanne's here. Yeah. Well, instead of me just sort of, you know, Joanne, can you make a cup of tea? I'll send her a text yeah. message. Isn't it, Joanne? Make a cup of tea. Would Would Mr. Producer like a coffee? One One really Look strong. Out. One really strong coffee for Mr. Producer. And uh, what about uh, Sir, ben uh, Sir, Sir Benjamin? Sir Reese? He's left. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right, so, uh, right. Three teas, please. And uh, strong white coffee. So the first games for the um, intermediate finals are Pinhole Ability versus Walden Athletic on pitch one. Oh. Yeah, knife. <laughs> You're in. Trying to do my job. You know, Too quick, to mate. And then on pitch two, we have Exeter versus Torquay United. They're the first two games for the intermediate finals. Yeah. And for the senior championship, mm -hmm. the first two games are... Exeter City against Northern Lions. Um, Plymouth Argyle versus Pinho. Oh, right. Okay. You is see? that two Pinho teams, is it? No, there's one in each. Oh, um, uh, yeah. There's one in each competition, mate. Yeah. So uh -huh. they're two different, yeah, two yeah. different yeah. Yeah, and and to confuse you even more, oh, no. there's another Pinot team uh, in the Prem as well. Oh. All right, Jesus. that's the ones that kick off at two o'clock. Oh yeah, three. I only saw two yeah. sheets. I was yeah. Gonna. All right. So uh, that, yeah, just to confuse you even more. Pinot are the ones in blue. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Walden are the ones in sky blue. Sky blue. Yeah. Um, Don't like, that looks like Railway Beacons kit. That does. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I'm not a fan. Not a fan of those colours. Mm. Oh, not a fan of. Oh, not a fan of Railway Beacon. Is that what you say? Mm, uh. <laughs> Talking United, I think, will be in yellow. Yeah, I can see them And uh, I'm assuming Exeter, quite hard to miss. Exeder will be in their. Uh, yeah, then the normal strip of red and white. Red and white. They're in the corner, aren't they? Uh, no, that's the other. That's the Exeter City that are in the. There's another one senior. over there. There's two. Oh, yeah, there is two. There's two Exodus Cities. Yeah, Exodus City. Alonso's put him, taking them to the It Looks pitch. like we may Sat have a it. couple of coaches Sat and the winning watching. goal scorer from the last cup final oh, look. coming up. Look, we've got another cup on its way. And they're bringing the cup to show us as well. How about that? Oh, look at this. Right, we have Shamrick Shear Rovers' as two coaches. And the hero of the day scoring two goals in the final. So, first of all, I'm going to speak to the uh, with the first coach that's here. And your name, sir, is? My name's Mark Williams. Mark, I bet you're thrilled to bits, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely chuffed. It's our first season. We've worked hard. Um, yeah, we, we've done this within one year. Um, two teams. So, oh, yeah, so, so thrilled. And, and they played so well as well. The, the, the lads at the back stopped everything and... The goal scorers at the front, need I say any more? I'm going to go across to the young lady now. What's your name? Bethany Wiles. Bethany, what a great performance by you up front today. Did, did they stick you up front knowing you could put the ball away that well? Yes, and so, yeah. I guess they had faith in me and they knew that I could do well in the last game. Brilliant. And what is it like for you to win a County Cup final? 
Oh, it feels great. It's, I'm new to all this football stuff and I play with my brother and it just feels great to be a part of the team. They're a great team. They like built me in like I was family and it's great. Good. And do you enjoy this type of event that you've been playing in all season for the first time? Yes, I've, I've really enjoyed it. I think it's a great atmosphere for everyone and everyone just enjoys it. Well, good. Congratulations, and and make sure you milk all the celebrations and remind them. Um, don't don't you run away. You can't sneak off yet. And I hope you enjoy the celebrations, and you can carry on reminding all the men that who carried them through the final with two goals. Thank you. And we've got another coach here who's a, a young lady from Shamwickshire. Your name is? Chelsea Crawshaw. Chelsea, what do you think of your team's performance today? Absolutely amazing. I'm proud of every single one of them. They're brilliant. And I see you're holding the cup there quite pleased for yourself. Letting go of it. No, nope. I'm <laughs> keeping hold of that one. I was just going to say, is anyone else going to get a chance of that or not? No. No, that's fair <laughs> enough. And... These, this event that Devon FA are putting on today, um, I know it's not all the teams because they've had to whittle them down for the, the, the final four in each d event, but are you enjoying the event? Oh, definitely. I, absolutely, I think it's fabulous what they do here. All the refs are lovely. The organisation is great. Yeah. That's good to know, and hopefully we'll do this for many years to come and see you all. The producer of the media team is moaning oh, now that you haven't oh. mentioned about us in the media team. Do you want to say anything about us? Brilliant. Oh, bunch. oh <laughs> see, see, the well saved. I just. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's, go on. It's all. It, can we listen to this anywhere? It's, or it's all it? on. It's all on Facebook. So when you get home, on YouTube. So when you get home, just search the uh, Devon FA Facebook page or YouTube channel, and it'll all be on there. So if you want to say th if you want to say thank you to anyone, do it now, and then thank you, and then you can and then you can hear <laughs> thank you, thank you to Chelsea on. for running my second team. She's been brilliant and well on to the guys again. It's been really really good. What a day! So thank you, thank you guys as well. Thank, thank, you, thank you very, very much. much. Well and done. We'll see you again next season, hopefully. Thank you very much. And well right. done. That was that was great, wasn't it? That's that that's the way we should be doing it. Yeah, we'll have to try again with the next ones now. Like, no, we've started something. No, no, you've started something. No, we've got, we've got, uh, we've got cameras. We got, we got commentator cam now. I take it. Oh, yeah. I'll take it that commentator cam now includes producer cam. I just I like I'm to just point out. Not to be in it. I just like to point out that getting these interviews was my and idea. The, the, the amateur side oh. of the department that doesn't do this very often because they didn't trust me with my commentaries. Exeter City in Torquay fair, kicked off him. on pitch two. Mark, I'm going to go quiet for a minute because Joram Okay, Joram I'm going to try and keep an eye on this game on to our right. I'll keep an eye on to the left then. Oh, good save from the Torquay keeper. As I haven't got a sheet of paper um, who's who's in the blues and who's in the greens on the one that I'm watching Pitch. right okay lovely yeah extra scored against Torquay and the players going crazy a class finish goal kick great start to the first game for the um, intermediate finals on pitch one with um, Pinehole and Walden the referee getting in the way of the play oh, almost you, would, you would say about that about yeah, him, yeah. Wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. almost yeah. rubbed tackling one of the players yours. Um, just remember that when you were on the line oh, yeah. have you listened oh. back to it yet no no so I would listen back to it first why was right. said? Well, listen back to it first, and oh, no. uh, and you'll find out. Oh, 
I don't know what game to watch. I've got I've got this one between Pino and Plymouth Argyle, and it's good football. I'm watching the Torquay extra one. If you watch the far one, then Rich, we've got them all covered. Yeah, so we uh, obviously these these finals are being brought to us uh, with the assistance of Elevate, who are sponsoring all the broadcasts, and they're a player app, player development app. Uh, and if you put if you put Devon in as your uh, club, you get a seven day free trial. Um, and there's lots of videos on training uh, guides there for uh, for players, and obviously uh, Allwood. Timber, who are the sponsors that is a great of, the, uh, from the of the competition? Dave Loder um, creating a goal for Torquay. Yeah, that was a good goal, wasn't yeah. it? Um, yeah, yeah. Ol Allwood Timber, who are sponsors of the uh, the event. Um, thank you to them as well. That's one all X to Torquay. No goals in the Pinot Plymouth Argyle game. Whoa. It's a good good game of football, though. Oh, keeper has dropped it. Greg save from the talkie keeper. They were all off. Yeah, so, oh, look at this, look. T's arrived. T's arrived. Oh, Jace. Jace, I'll tell you what, you can ask. The lovely Mrs. Mason has arrived with our with our drinks. That's Mark Beauty speaking. I'm always nice. I'm right. It was Richard Richard who said he was going to order the tea. No. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Joanne. Which one's, which one's got the sugar in it? Right. Did you hear that, Jason? Thank you, Joanna, he said. That's not what he said just now, was it? No, no she's gonna she's even gonna take it up to the producer lot. Eh? Honestly. I I don't get treated this well at home. See so you notice I say that when she's not listening. <laughs> I can say that she's not listening, Jason. Uh, oh, what a Great chance for Exeter! Keeper. Yeah, Torquay keeper. Put oh, his on the line fantastic! For that. Fantastic save. I, I tell you, the screams of pain are coming through my ears at the moment. Yeah. I think Joanne was just telling me. Oh, that. and I've got a goal in our game. Pinole have just gone one up against Plymouth Argyle. I think Joanne just reminded me that was the first one she's made. First what cup of tea? Yeah. Yeah. You take a few more then. Yeah. No. Yeah, kind of talk uh, on the attack. Yeah, talk on the attack chance. Oh, oh, just over the bar. And I think that's half time, yeah. Talkie extra. So I I I've been watching a little bit of the uh, excellent Northern Li Northern Lions. Um and it's I, I love the Northern Lions kit. Is that the gold one? The gold one, that goldy. Is very nice. It's very nice, isn't it? The it's, far it's great. Yeah. yeah, yeah, really good. I was trying to work out what team it was. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a nice kit. That's not a bad kit, is it? I think the Torquay bright yellow is. Uh, it's, it's bright. Jumps out at you, doesn't it? It's bright and it's yellow. It's not. It's a lot brighter than the uh, Torquay United first team yellow. That's for sure. Well, well to be fair, I was just going to say. That's the yellow that won't be seen at Home Park in St. James's, will it? Mark, it's, it's the it yellow that won't be seen. It will be, be there when they, we beat you in the FA Cup. FA Cup, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mark, would you like to pass the tees down? I will do. <laughs> Take your headphones off, Mark. <laughs> oh, if anyone did pick that up on commentator cam, um, Mark, Mark tried to move with his um, headphones still on and nearly broke his neck. <laughs> yeah, they should all have sugar in. There you go, mate. 
So, uh, yeah, we're, so we're we're well, we're underway in most of the uh, most of the second games now, uh, the second halves, the first games. It's difficult to say. Yeah, Torquay centre back with some posure. Always oh, missed it. He's Coming to his cursed eyes. Yeah. Keepers coming out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what Ooh. a challenge. We have an extra player down after a great challenge from a talky one. Oh. The Torquay United. No, sorry. Yeah, Exeter City. The Exeter City goalkeeper. Mm hmm. He, he coaches a lot of um, kids. No, that is the Torquay keeper. Oh, the Torquay keeper, sorry. Exeter City keeper yeah, is up that ending green. The Torquay keeper. He, he, He's in two. He helps coach a lot of the Torquay yes, United he, girls teams. He comes here and trains. Yeah, he's a really night. nice lad. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I, you know, I'll help you out if you struggle, Mark. Yeah, right? yeah, that's fine. Well, I'm watching the other game where uh, it's half time and... Do you not watch it? Pino are beating Plymouth Argyle one nil. It's not half time anyway. They've just kicked off. Well, they're just off. kicking off now. Yeah, I don't know what the score is in the North of Exeter game. No, although I did say I was going to watch it. I'm, I haven't seen any goals over there. And what about Walden and Pino over the Walden? Far side I'm then? not sure on that one either. Right. Okay. Talking on the attack. Oh, good ball, good shot. Well oh, from the keeper, yeah. good hands. That's fantastic, isn't it? Oh, another go for Plim, Plim, uh, Pinho. Plim, 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 oh, so it's, it's, it's nice one. That's it like power, 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 man. Yeah. It's <laughs> Pinho 2-0 up now. Power, 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 power. Have you ever heard the P take it at you so much, Mike? I don't care. <laughs> If you give it, you've got to be able to take it, mate. <laughs> you have indeed. You have indeed. I just think that he's um, very disrespectful to his cup's chairman. Well, yeah, but he is cup secretary. So yeah, but there he can get away with that. Can yeah, he? he's. I suppose he can. Yeah, known each other too long so, to be so anything other than what we do. So I don't get away with it then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, so when you were here, Mark, or oh, chance for Exeter, good save. When you were here, Mark, and you worked here for oh. 13 years, was it? Yeah, just coming up to, yeah. Um, what was the biggest prank you pulled on anyone? Um, it was when Jason was probably in the sort of beginnings of his tenure as the referee's... Uh, yeah, to be fair, that was the biggest joke most people played. No, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah. oh. <laughs> and um, we'll just say that Jason, are of a, Jason and myself are of an age where we've known each other a good time in football. You mean old then? Uh, yeah. And uh, Mrs. Kemp, who is uh, the front boss's P and A, P A or front whatever they call them, front of house. She was front of house and secretary then in those days. And uh, one day she came into the office that we, Joe, Jason and myself, were working in. And she said, oh, it's lovely to see two of you sat in here. And, and you, you get on really well and you know each other as friends from football. And she goes, it's just lovely all the banter you have and blah, blah, blah. And uh, so we decided that we were going to change all that and have a fake argument one day. And to say we had a fake argument was an understatement, and we went at each other big time. Oh, right. And poor old Anne, she just didn't know what to do. <laughs> and she got to the stage where she was almost in tears and went off running to Paul Morrison, the CEO, to tell him that we were having a really heated <laughs> argument. Of course, when he came out, everything was <laughs> bright and rosy, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Yeah, he was. Oh dear. Yeah, he, he sort of came over and goes, well, "What's going on with you two arguing?" And we went, "What? We never argue." <laughs> yeah, we're fine. Uh, to be fair, Jason can have an argument now. It's just he's got no one to argue with. Well, he's got no friends, has he? He's got Matt Barrett in the office. Hang on, Facebook jail. Here it comes. Here it comes. No, no, maybe. No, we never know. 
Yeah, yes, I mean, she's, yeah, I've got to say, she's got a lot to put up with, hasn't she? I've got to say a big thank you to Joanne for bringing the teas out. Absolutely. Tonight, and uh, hand delivering it to Mr. Hayward, which is, <laughs> you know, pretty much what I do uh, every 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 morning. You know, when we're when we're, we're in the office, you know, tea, coffee, biscuits. Jace, I'll, 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 we'll start croissants again as well because the summer's coming now. So croissants for breakfast, sir. Mm. Croissants. Croissants for breakfast. You yeah. don't have croissants for breakfast. Yeah. Microwave. Microwave. Oh, there's a go down the far end. Pino has scored against Walden. So I've got to say, okay, the extra number six who just come off is probably one of the best players I've seen today. Yeah, he's really he good. Yeah, phenomenal. good player. He is really good. Yeah. It's very difficult keeping an eye on four games, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Yeah. I haven't got any attention span for this. I'm just sat watching <laughs> the game in front of me. Yeah. Ah, Seagull. Well, just say it's a good job we men can multitask, isn't it? It's a seagull. Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm watching a seagull. Mark, did you see the look you got from the lady yeah, in front of you then? <laughs> I'm going to interview her in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she hasn't stopped laughing yet. No, so I know. She's multitasking. <laughs> 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 X to Torquay game, that's the end. Is that the end? Oh, yeah, wow. I think Torquay won. I think Torquay, yeah, I think Torquay won it, didn't they? 2 1, I think it was. Don't quote me on but, that. Um, no, we won't quote you on that, mate. Just remember, you're live to um, three and a half million people three at the moment. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So, Mark, when do you multitask? Usually when I'm asleep, man. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But I am doing a good job of it now, keeping an eye on three or four games. No, three. Yeah. So, so is that what it is? So you're, you're talking, you know, about three games. Yeah. That you can't say two of them because you haven't got your glasses on. No. Well, talk, don't talk to me about glasses, by the way. Why? Have you not heard about glasses, Kate? No. Uh, I've, so somewhere... Between and at some stage, I've managed to lose a pair of glasses in a glass case. And my my colleagues, my esteemed colleagues, when I you know sort of put it on our team's chat, you know, if anyone finds a set of glasses, please let me know, you know, because I've lost mine. <laughs> the comments that I got from Mr. Hayward, you know, are they these? And it, you know, the the comedy glasses oh, okay. with the moustache and yeah, the nose. Yeah, yeah, it was a pair of them. And and the other one. Um, yeah, the other one's not appropriate to be uh, described and on, on on Facebook. They, they were pink and glittery. All right. I can't say that word, Jason. <laughs> no, they, they were they were they were pink and glittery. Yeah. And um, yeah, so and that's, the, and that's the sort of support. And that the I other get. one was one of a rude nature. Yes, and, and and this is the sort of support that I get. Yeah. You know. Well, the Exeter. Plymouth, uh, sorry, the Pinot Plymouth game has finished, yeah. and I yeah. think Exeter won that one 2 0. So Pinho played ex played Plymouth, and Exeter won. No, sorry, Pinot won 2 0. Right. Against okay. Plymouth. Right. Exeter just played in front of us, Mark. Yeah. And they're sorry. playing over there yeah, at the same I know. time. Yeah, so it was Pinot. Yeah. I'm now watching the. Exeter Northern Lions is Northern the only game. Yeah, on. I don't know how that's going. No. The other one's finished between Walden and. Uh, Pino, we'll get the results as soon as we can to you. Yeah, Ash is over there at the moment getting the results. I thought Scott was doing that. Oh, too much for him, maybe. I think I think Ash is Ash is doing the running. Yeah, Ash has got his fitness test next week. So oh, he's got to do some running then. Yeah, um, Jack Jack Guppy, I'm I'm not quite sure. Um, because there is only three of us, and we've been watching the, believe it or not, we've been watching the other three games that are going on, and not the Exeter and Northern Lions game. But as soon as we know it, uh, it we, is will still you, we, we will let you know it is still, it going, is still on. going on. So. I haven't heard any shouting or seen any jumping up and down, so I'm not sure whether there is a goal in that one. But to moment. be fair, Mark, I don't think with it being that far away, you'd see it anyway. Probably not, to you, be fair. Your, uh, no, that's good. Your, your glasses are in front of you if you can't find them. Jason, I'm I'm not going to mention cards. No, don't. Because last time I did that in the County Cup finals, we had a card going on about how great red cards were so minimal, as in nil. 
And then we had one straight away, so yeah. I'm not seeing anything there. But it's, it's really good. It's really, really good. A really enjoyable uh, day so far. And I say all of this brought to us by uh, Allward uh, Timber and uh, Elevate, the uh, player development app. I reckon that if we found, uh, what was she called from Pino? Harriet. Harriet. I reckon. Yeah. I reckon she's still got that trophy. Yeah, out. I think she might have gone home I, now because they seem to have gone. Yeah, I, I reckon she's still got. that yeah, trophy Yeah, I don't home. think they'll get that trophy oh, off her for weeks. No, you need a crowbar to get. And that what off a her. big smile she had on oh, her face as well, didn't she? And, yeah. and like I said, very well spoken young lady. Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah. Now we we, although it's great. We haven't actually picked that person to to come. You know, they they volunteered to come yeah, forward and do the yeah. uh, do the interview. So yeah, it's, it's great that we get uh, you know these people coming forward and and actually enhancing our uh, our commentary, our performance, our uh, media. Well, some would say they wouldn't have to do much, Rich. <laughs> no, that's true. They got to turn up, and it's and it's better than it was. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. So what I love about you, Mark. Absolutely nothing. You've got Walden and Torquay in front of you now, haven't you? And uh, it looks yes. to me like Northam Lions and Exeter has finished. Exeter has finished. Uh, I still don't know what the score is on that one. So as soon as we've got the scores, we'll let you know them all. Oh, Walden, oh, attack Walden attacking here. Oh, oh, right the safe. keeper's got his foot to it. Right, intermediate scores. Here we go. Pinho 1. Walden 0. Exeter City 1, Torquay 1. And then the senior Exeter 1, Northern 0. And Plymouth Argyle 0, Pinho 2. And if it was a pools, we'd go and uh, number 27. And yeah, we win. We would. <laughs> Interestingly, the scores are a bit tighter in these get these first they, they four games. Yeah, you'll find yeah. that they will be. Yeah. Thanks, Uncle Frizz. And there's our Uncle Frizz coming Uncle along Frizz to just right. confirm the f matches with us. Look at this, lad. So we'll give them out again, just talk, in case anyone doesn't know. So we've got Madden. the Devon Disability Intermediate County Cup. Pino 1, Walden 0. Exeter City 1, Talk United 1. And in the Disability Senior County Cup, Exeter City 1, Northam Lions 0. And Plymouth Argyle 0, Pino 2. I don't know. If, I don't know if you're going to announce that over the PA now, Mark. Oh yeah, hang on, oh, please. <laughs> oh yeah, it's multitasking. It's multitasking has just failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you turned the wrong microphone off. Oh, that's a high foot from Warren's number ten. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Jeez. But to be fair, to be fair, the player's not the yeah, um, tallest. Not the tallest in the world. Play like respect. They're going to shake his hand off. Yeah, it's it. great, isn't it? It's fantastic. I say, even they don't. I mean, nobody ever means to foul someone, yeah. but actually, they they're the first to go and say sorry. Yeah, which you always love to see. Yeah. Ooh. So let's just see now if Mark remembers to put the mic mic back on. It's on. Oh, there you go. There you, you go. Multitasking at its best. Multitasking at its finest. The intermediate results are on screen. Oh, what a save there by Torquay. And, and the next round of fixtures, they're ready to for everyone to view. And senior uh, results and fixtures are on screen. Tell you what, you can't complain, can you? This is better than BBC. It is. It is. And we don't charge a licence fee. <laughs> Oh, we've got a Pinot attack against Northam Lions now. On the Walden on the attack as well. On it's a three on two. Nothing comes from it. What's oh, he's given a goal kick. Yeah, go on, say it. You want to say it, don't you? What, say what? There's dodgy ref in front of you. It will. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's marvellous. Such good um, sporting when oh it is yeah the referee makes a mistake, no shouting at the referee, just get on with the game. 
Yep. Oh. Mainstream football could take oh. a... Oh, unlucky. Mainstream oh. football oh. could take a, a leaf out of his book. Yeah, it could, couldn't it? Yeah. No, nobody's moaned. Have you noticed that Mark Walker over there like, has um, he's got a bib in his hand? Yeah. That's not... Be- well, no, no. It's not because he needs it. It's because he's got some uh, deaf players. Is that the reason? Yes. Oh, what a great, yeah. yeah, that's great. Yeah, so they, yeah superb. So, so they can join still, in again. And so he, he still can, blows the whistle. And he raises his... And then he raises the bib. Bib so as well. That, so yeah. that the players know that, uh, that the game has stopped. So everybody's getting yeah. involved. Oh, yeah, we, we yeah, include nobody's a, left out. It's we, marvellous. We include everyone, don't we? Yeah, absolute total inclusivity. Um, Is that um, the right word? Wow, inclusivity. Wow. Yeah. I will tell you what, that's multitasking. That is. Yeah. That is, uh, it is. Finest. Yeah. That was eating a dictionary and commentating. Yeah. I've been trying to get the word discombobulated in somewhere along the line, but I haven't okay. managed to get that yet. Okay. Well, There's Mr. Frizz looking discom- discombobulated. discombobulated. <laughs> yeah. Walking past us. Uh, free kick for Torquay right now. Oh, you're watching the game. What's going on? Nate's watching the games here. Yeah, it's a good job, really, isn't it? Yeah. 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 That's someone is. I'm just so glad uh, that the, um, the, p- the viewing public can't cannot hear our hear producer's jokes. What the producer is coming out yeah. of. Oh, oh, and we got oh, a goal for Torquay. It was an own goal. Own goal. Oh. It was an own goal for Torquay. Torquay yeah. captain yeah. stuck in his own net. And the, oh. the keeper is distraught. Yeah. And, and that's quite an interesting game, isn't it? Because Waldener is in the middle of Torquay. Yes. Against Torquay United, and Walden have just taken the lead. That is unlucky, a bit of miscommunication there from the keeper. Yeah, the keeper came the out to clear it, yeah. and the uh, defender cleared it past the keeper. Under pressure from the Yeah, he was under striker. a bit of pressure, so uh, yeah. Walden on the attack again. Shot. Good, good save. save. Parried away by the keeper. Yeah, it was a good save. Uh, oh, the keeper was oh. committed there. Oh, oh, oh another back oh. heel. What's going on? <laughs> Is that half time? Yeah. No. Half time. Yeah, half time. Pino uh, have done everything but score in the game against Northam Lions. Yeah. Um, we've got a couple of comments. Jack Guppy, come on, Northam. Yeah. And come on, Lions. Uh, you can do this from Duncan Barry North Williams. So there you go. Well, lots I, of I lots of support s- for everyone today. I've got to say they're putting a shift in the Northern boys, yeah. and they're not getting the run of the ball too much. Uh, that yeah. that seemed to be what's happening in the first game as well. Mm-hmm. It's really really good. Thoroughly enjoying this. Yeah, and it, 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 I mean you've we've been sat here for a couple of hours. Um, talking about a bit of football, um, you know, uh, with with all the production that we have and everything else. Yeah. And um, you know, we've been sat here, the five of us, we're having a great time. Yeah. As and like the production team said, they're doing a great job. Yeah. There's no I in team, is there? <laughs> so uh, yeah, you know, we can do that without. We can do this without them. And they no, that's be very mu- true. And they wouldn't be much good without us. No. So, do we tell everybody the joke that the producer sent to us a minute ago over the no. over the air? No, 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 because it would be bleep, 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 no, bleep, no, bleep, no. Bleep. It, oh, it was oh, oh, it was quite one. a clean one, a clean one. Yeah, because yeah. when we were talking about the big words, putting them into yes. the commentary, he came up with. I was trying to put the word campanologist into the commentary. Mm. Does that ring a bell? Yeah. yeah. That's Yeah, that's that's the standard, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. That is the standard. Yeah. But but I mean, obviously you used to work with Jason. Yeah. Um, you you don't any longer. Do mm. you miss his jokes? No. No. It, you know, oh. Oh. Since I've gone, the standard of jokes coming gone from up. that office have gone down so badly. Well, I, see, I don't know about that so much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that so much. Oh, 
Yes, she did. <laughs> yes, if you remember that. Yeah. You know, Abby, you know, Abby who's, who's left, um, was there on Friday and um, she got towed off for the for the noise that she was making, laughing and joking yeah, because with you two. Yeah, she was with towed you off. And, uh, and Jace. She was so. towed off. Yeah. Just to mention Friday, for those that don't know, we went to the races on Friday. Did um, we? It was paid for by the outgoing chairman, Bernard Leach, as a thank you to all present staff and ex-staff for all they did for him whilst he was the chairman. And a big shout out to Bernard. I don't think Devon FA would be where they are now if it wasn't for his leadership over the last, I don't know how many years. But this is a question that we were asked. How long was Bernard um, chairman? I don't know. Um, is he watching this today? I know, it should, I know, I know if we it go It does in the say office, so on the board. On the board. There, I think it? it's 22 years. Yeah, I think it could well be. It's way longer than I was. Oh, he did. He's, he yeah, was I mean one of the... Founders, well, one of the founders, founders with a, uh, yeah. a, another of the ex DJM League yeah. men, Des O'Leary, was part yeah. of that as well, I believe. Yes, but yeah, it's such a long time, and he's put so much into football, mm-hmm. and uh, now he's re- had to retire as the chairman of Devon FA, and hopefully he'll carry on putting things into local football, and his knowledge and skills oh, indeed, are not yeah. lost at all because. He, he's such a nice guy and, and he was a great chairman for the county and he always involved the staff, always came and chatted to the staff and and uh, he's going to be missed and Mr. Yeah. Street, who's taken over, has got a big um, pair of shoes pair of shoes to fill. Yeah. Yeah. Um, talking about Des O'Leary, um, the SB Frankfurt had their presentation night last night. Did they? And um, his, his family were able to... Uh, could go for Walden there. We're, able, Torquay. we're able to award the the first um, trophy in his memory. Oh, lovely! Since That's his passing, great. Because obviously Absolutely. there's not been any presentation. No, there since. hasn't. No, Plymouth um, Argyle just scored as well. So uh, yeah, yeah, they did. It, so yeah, it was great that they were able to do that um, yeah. last night. So for uh, those, hello. Mark's gone quiet. Don't worry about it. Is your, is your mic still working, Mark? Um, oh, that's is it still kick. working? Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> no, it's okay. Mr. Mason decided to um, disconnect me. But my ears. Oh, <laughs> um, pen- what a save! Oh, from the good save keeper. from the keeper down there. Yeah, I just caught that oh, as well. Oh, he's caught it on the head, though. Oh, he on. has. Yeah. You have an injury. Hang on, Mr. Pooley, Before you, you you say things like oh. that. Shall I remind people that you got up just now to get the tea and Your forgot to take, take your headphones off and nearly broke your neck? <laughs> I did. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just be careful what you say there, all right? <laughs> uh, we may get round to my story about the first game I ever refereed as a yeah, well, we could do, qualified go on, do referee. It, do it now. Go on. Well, as I said at the start, I'd sat, we'd had pouring rain on Friday uh, before a Saturday game, and I was with... Brixham United and my ears have gone dead again I'll carry on with the story so um, that's fine Richard Um, Wall Park at Brixham was called off which is really unusual to be fair and um, the referee's appointment secretary knew that I was available for matches if my team didn't have a game and on the Saturday morning at about 11 or 12 o'clock he rang me and said, can you do a game for me? And I said, yeah, I'd love to. And uh, he said, it's Chagford Reserves against Morton Hampstead Reserves at Morton. Now, those of you that know these teams, Chagford and Morton are two little villages just on the Dartmoor. They're about two or three miles away from each other and really dislike each other when they play football. So I thought, yeah, I'll go up. It's, it's reserve teams, so everything will be fine. So it was a, a fair old trip up there, and I got there in time, and uh, we had a little discussion about the game with the two captains before and the two uh, assistant referees who were club referee uh, linesmen, as they were called then, assistants now. And I blew the whistle, and we started off. I think I was six minutes into the game, and the Morton Hampstead left wing went down the line 
and I can only describe the challenge by the Chagford right back as um, fruity. Yeah, fruity. It's so much so that the striker ended up about three feet up in the hedge. And there's a, just a great goal from Walden there as we're watching. And, um, was. and it all kicked off. There were every single player of both teams all running towards this incident. And to say fists were thrown was an understatement. There were handbags everything you can imagine and I thought I'm not getting in the middle of that so I just stood there with my notebook and my pencil making a note when it all kind of calmed down I said right then ladies are we finished and they all looked at me I thought I shouldn't have said ladies but it was all handbags a lot of it you know and uh, I called the two captains over and I called two players for Chagford over and one player for Morton Hampstead over and asked another six players to stand just there away from me so well, two captains I explained that the three that I'm going to talk to now are going to be dismissed for throwing punches and one of those was also for the tackle so he basically he could have been done twice and I sent them off not a complaint and then I proceeded to book the other six that I put <laughs> in a little circle just <laughs> on the side of me and, I, and then I moved naughty corner the naughty <laughs> corner so this is six minutes gone six yellows and two reds three reds sorry so I called, then spoke to the captains and I said, look, we've got three reds, six yellows, and it's six minutes. If this carries on, in 12 minutes, there's going to be four reds and 12 yellows, which means another one might well go. So if we carry on like this, I'm going to have to abandon the game before half time because I'm not going to take any nonsense. And they looked at me and said, yeah, sorry, Rev. And we started play again. And there was nothing for the rest of the game. <laughs> it was absolutely perfect. So this In was fact, every time one player fouled another, they came and said sorry to me. So this was the first game that you'd My ever My first refereed. game ever. Now, wow. the story continues because once the game finished, and like I said, there was no more problems at all, we all went back to, I think it was the White Hart in those days in, in Morton Hampstead and had our little bit of food and a drink. And... Uh, I'm sat at the bar and I'm drinking a pint of cider shandy or whatever it was I had. Water. And uh, I had this referee. And I went, yes. I turned around and there was this big left back for Chagford who had, uh, he had a beard that it was a bit like um, ZZ Top. You know, the, the band? Mm -hmm. Well, and I do. Yeah, yeah. So... I turned around and I said, I thought, oh my God, I'm going to get something here. Because he was, he was quite a big fella. And I said, uh, yeah. And he went, sorry about that, ref. <laughs> <laughs> and I was speechless. And I said, look, it's, it's forgotten now, mate. You know, it's all over. I sent you off. You've got your punishment. And obviously the FA will get the report. Yeah, but I'm really sorry for causing you that much hassle on the day. He said, uh, Shouldn't have done it. And he walked off. No, oh, right. A couple of seconds later, the Morton Hamps, or the, sorry, the Chagford secretary, she came up to me and she said, are you all right, ref? And I went, yeah, I'm fine. Why? And she said, he's just got out of prison for ABH. <laughs> she said, she, I thought he was going to smack you on. And I goes, no, he was perfect. Oh, <laughs> Oh dear. And she went, oh, that's right. And I'll always remember her name. She was called Joan Hicks. And she was a lovely lady, but she was really concerned for me for about 10 seconds there. Mm. <laughs> and that's my story of my first ever to, game. To be fair, I was concerned for you for about 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember your first game, Richard? Yeah, I do, actually. It was at um, it was at Keo. Was um, it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just ignore, ignore what the producer said. Yeah. That? Yeah. Um, <laughs> in fact, as, as, as the producers just said, one team was in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was uh, an under eleven game at um, YMCA. Yeah, yeah. God, nineteen eighty-seven. Nineteen eighty-seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's impossible. Um, yeah, that was that was my first game, nineteen eighty-seven. I know, that's frightening. Frightening. What about yours? Because you're a referee, mate. 
um, I had Map versus Plimstock. Okay. As a friendly, um, Map won 13 nil. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it was quite an easy game. Quite, quite a nice game to start yeah. with. Then. We should get the results of the first, the second yeah, we should, game. Yeah, that's Sorry, well, well, that's why we're just filling a little bit of time now. You know. Yeah, I'll try and get them sorted out as soon as possible. In fact, I might try to give it out over Facebook and uh, YouTube and over the Tannoy at, at the, the same, same time. time. That'll be multitasking. Yeah, she's gone now. Yeah. Frizz, Frizz is on his way. Yeah. He's, he, he sprinted then for about 10 yards and now so he's puffing. <laughs> so, so let me get this right. Scott was doing the, the scores. Now yeah. Uncle Frizz is doing them. Yeah. It seems to We be. love Uncle Frizz. Scott's still out there looking around. I'm not sure what he thinks he's doing, but he might be. He, wants, he wants to know where Jason is. Looks like the goalkeeper down there in yellow has given himself a bit of a smack. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Would you, I tell you what, Mark, would you like me to hold, hold that one and, and you grab the PA? Here, here they come, Uncle here come Frizz. Uncle Frizz with his results. Uncle Frizz. Doing a great job. He is. He's, yeah. doing, he's, he's walked more steps he's now than he's doing walked. Doing an absolutely brilliant job is Uncle Frizz today. And here he is to put the results down in front of me. And I'm now going to multitask with two microphones. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got the first the results of the second lot of games in the Intermediate Disability County Cup. And they are Pino Ability 2, Exeter City 0, and Waldron Athletic 3, Torquay United 0. And in the Senior County Cup, we have Exeter City 2, Plymouth Argyle 1, and Northam Lions 0, Pino Ability 0. Thanks, Mark. That was really good. You can have your microphone back, mate. Thank you very much. I'm hoping Sky are listening and they'll take me on as the goal scorer. No, no, no. There's no I in team. If one gets offered a contract, we all get offered oh, a right, contract. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Okay. Well, to be fair, uh, we could do a great job on Sky, couldn't we, on a Saturday afternoon? Unbelievable, Mike. Screw oh. going, Neville. So the uh, intermediate scores are on. Pin Pino have just scored right from kickoff down the bottom end against Torquay United. Have they? And immediately, Taylor's now on uh, on screen for everyone to see. What's happening down in front of us? And some referees talking to. Her. Hmm? Oh, yeah. So team that. Um, I think he's removing a few people from pitch side. Yeah. Uh, senior, uh, the senior results are on, and the uh, league table will be coming up shortly. We're just waiting for Exeter keeper to have some treatment, so for some treatment on his knee in front of us. So um, that's that's why it's a little delay. Senior table on screen for everyone to see. Let us know what you think. What were we, three hours in, Mike? Yeah, three hours. It doesn't three seem that long, hours. though, does it? No. Entertaining football as well. No, it is good. It I don't think it's been a dull really game yet at all. No, there hasn't. There hasn't. It's been absolutely fantastic. Well, that was a bit of a loud whistle from someone. don't know where that came from. Was that the pitch in front of us? Yeah, I think it was. Wow. So where, where are our referees at the moment? We've got Morris on far side. We've got Paul here. Nick on pitch three. Nick on pitch three. And uh, Dave, is it Dave? Dave. No, uh, yeah, yeah, Dave, Dave yeah. on pitch four. Okay, we, for we, me here, Dave looks like Jason. Really? Yeah, if it had a bit more... If um, really? Jason had a bit more hair. 
Can you not see that? I've been thinking oh, all day. I'm not saying anything. Yeah. Have you not? Been, have you ever been put in Facebook jail? By yeah, Jason? I did. Yeah, not by Jason. I think. Right. You, just consider yourself lucky. <laughs> um, Jason, I'll get him eye tests done for him. I'm gonna. Oh, ed- oh. I'm gonna. Ed- I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna educate him. <laughs> all right. One of them. Oh, we have in Facebook jail. You've cut me <laughs> off. <laughs> That's better. Um, one of them yeah. is a really, really good. Experienced referee, With Dave. Uh, I'm joking. And I'm, I'm, gonna, joking. I'm joking. And I'm going to ask you. You can work yeah, out yeah. which one's which. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pino have just scored against again against Torquay United. Oh, yeah, they have on the far side. Yeah. Um, we've got to be we've got to be careful though, because obviously, if the if we upset the producer or 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 Jason. Um, <laughs> Well, because because obviously Reese is up there doing produ- doing a great job. He's yeah, he's doing job, superb he? job, yeah, Reese. <coughs> oh oh! Of oh, everyone, is everyone else faced with jail? Oh, they are. That's unlucky, isn't it? So, Anyone surviving? We've lost a few ball here. X to game. X to number six, drive to the byline. Oh. What a throw from the top. Still not back. Oh, yeah, I'm back. Oh, I'm back as well. Oh, Facebook jail. Yeah. Jealousy is such no, an awful no, thing, I, isn't it? The thing was, I didn't even say that. So, oh no, I'm still going. I've, um, let me say it. Uh, let me say it. For those of you on s- watching the screen, Mr. Mason has, um, upset the producer, Mr. Haywood, so he's cut him off. So you've just got me, Mark Bewley, all on my own. And, oh, Nathan, he's all right, is he as well? Oh, I got Nathan as well. I thought he'd been put in jail as well. It's a bit of um, Jason Hayward's like the Putin of Devon FA. Oh. You just called him Putin. He's called Putin. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. And he, he, he how have oh. you survived? <laughs> Seriously, how have you survived Facebook jail for calling him Putin? Be- because <laughs> I'm the chairman of Devon wow. FA Cups Putin Committee. Jail, it is Putin. Wow. I can't believe you said. D- dict- Jason Putin, a dictatorship. <laughs> I can't. I, oh, I'm amazed. I'm amazed that you're still uh. still going. Uh, honestly, that has absolutely shocked me. Jason Putin. I'm used to dictatorships though, because I'm married man. Oh. <laughs> oh, Mike, did I tell you? Just come up, watching. Is she really? Because yeah. <laughs> she, she said she was going to watch. So. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to change your trousers now or when you get home? When you're when you're told to change Ooh. them? <laughs> 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 Who's now going to invade Coach Road? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pino are away against Talkie United again. Just stop oh, the Player, yeah, way. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh dear. I can't believe you got away with that comment. You've called him Putin. He's probably in shock. Oh. oh. It just be, just, be, case the world just be careful. Just be careful what you eat, no, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Right. You know when you get in your car, Mark, and you hear that little click. Yeah. The seat when you yeah. get on the sit on the seat. Kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> what normally happens is you hear that click and you can say tick. Yeah. Talk, and yeah. then it goes <laughs> kaboom. <laughs> yeah. Either that, or when we go in and have something to eat later, that won't be salt on my chips. No, 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 <laughs> it won't be. It won't be. Uh, Just careful when you click the pen as well, you know. 
don't point at yourself when you're clicking. <laughs> 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 Uh, Vladimir Vladimir Hayward <laughs> Jason Putin So what games we've got going on at the moment? Oh, we've got Torquay Walden. Walden and Northam Liars have just finished Exeter versus Go Walden. for Walden against Walden just uh, Sorry against Exeter Is yeah. it Exeter? Exeter. Yeah. Yeah. Is it yeah. Exeter? Walden, Walden and Blue Exeter in red yeah. And then we've got Northam against Argo yeah, that's just coming and up I'm with the second that half. That's Exeter against Pinho. Yeah, at the far side. Yeah, and Pinho that's against got to be Torquay. Pinho against Torquay down that end. And the, yeah, and Pinho have just scored against Torquay. Going to adjust. The, there's there's quite a few uh, yeah quite yeah. a few goals, isn't there? There is. Lots and lots of uh, lots and lots going on. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Nate, where are you going? Okay, mate. To be fair, you could have asked him to come out this way instead of doing the obstacle course, pass all the cameras and everything else. <laughs> like, to be fair, I'd have to, I'd have to come out that way. There's no way I'm getting past those cameras. No. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, I mean, used to be able to. I, used, I mean, when I was when I was younger, and you know, we used to climb trees and things like that, didn't we? And you no. Know, yeah, with, yeah. A, with no ropes and everything, yeah. you know. You know, there was no risk assessments. <laughs> I rode the top of a bus once. Did you? <laughs> along Torquay Seafront. <laughs> what, just laid on the top of the bus? Yeah, jumped off the bridge. <laughs> a few beers had been imbibed. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wonder where that was going then, Mark. And they had little rivets on the top of the double-decker buses and you could hang on to them. Double-decker as well? Yeah, How yeah. How the hell did you get down from that? I slid off the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. It was about from the bridge on Torquay Seafront to the um, Grand Hotel, about that far. Yeah. Oh. That's cheered me up, I've got to say. It was a dare. <laughs> We'd been all night in Applebee's. Have I been banned again? No, no, no. no it was no. all night in. We did a real, what do you mean again? You a don't real get session in what was. I can't remember what it was called before Applebee's. And uh, is that a nightclub? Uh, no, it's a pub. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um, oh, hang on, Pinot Northern against Torquay, and another one goes yeah. in for Pinot. And Northern Lions have just scored against Argyle. Have they? Oh, oh good, because yeah. Northern been sort of really close to scoring and yeah. not getting any goals so that's their yeah, they've just scored their first one I believe so Applebee's yeah go on you were in Applebee's yeah and we started sort of um, daring each other like you do when you're sort of 18, 19 and drunk drunk yeah that was my dare and they honestly didn't think I'd do that I can't tell you half of the others well, yeah, I, mean, I think I think we should do that for our next uh, staff day. Yeah. No, we could we could dare Ashley Harris to do anything after half a point. Yeah, he would. Yeah, we know a few stories about Ashley Harris, don't we? He was he was he was he was he was he was, he was good on Friday. He was entertaining on Friday. Likes going in pizza shops, I believe. Oh, he he um. Yeah, so we oh, did he. Yeah, so obviously we had we had the. I missed that. Well, we had our little box, didn't we? And and the the, the course jockey came in, didn't he? The, the so-called expert. Oh yeah, that that and, tipped us all the full, all the all, all the, the favourites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so that was what he was doing, and and, and then Ash goes and goes up to him after he'd had one or two, and said, uh, "Thanks, thanks. I'm glad I didn't back the back the horse that you suggested because mine won." So obviously I'm better at this than you are. Oh dear. <laughs> and to be fair, I mean, it's a good job the bloke was only about two foot six. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think Ash may have got himself into a bit of trouble. Well, he... I mean, he was a, he was a lovely he was a lovely lad, you know. Yeah, but to tell you that all the favourites are going to win. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, he went, he went oh, for Mark yeah, Roman, who was favourite at the time. Oh, oh, good what a goal. Goal. Great goal by Exeter City yeah, there against Walden. Yeah, he so did a cracking goal. Nick's next jockey is. Nick used to jockey. Did he? Yeah, back when he's like... You can tell from the height. Yeah. Oh, right. to, I, don't know, I don't know if he's any good or not. Oh, all right. Um, so, yeah. Um, ben would make a good jockey, wouldn't he? Ben and Reese. And Reese, yeah. And Reese. Yeah. Reese. Me, me, me and Jace. Me and Jace. Shire horses. Yeah, yeah. How much do you reckon for a quarter of a horse in a syndicate? Only 10, 20 grand. Yeah. Oh. Stephen Brearley, we could he could be stable boy and and <laughs> oh. yeah oh or Polo oh dear <laughs> Ben I will ring you later <laughs> and tell you, you've just been burnt by your uh, your younger brother yeah okay. Yeah, it was a good one. Benjamin though, wasn't it? Goldsworthy is watching. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Benjamin Goldsworthy's personal butler is watching. And then go for uh, go for Walden. Walden against. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. Uh, Dun Duncan, yeah, I think Northern did score. Um, they've scored one. I know that much. The final's up next, isn't it? The final's the next game. Is it? Yeah, intermediate you final. You sure? Yeah, one o'clock. Yes, it is. Yeah, last round. We'll try and get some more... Um, get some more scores on the doors. Yeah, and some more scores interviews with winners. Scores on the doors. Can you remember that? Yeah, I can, unfortunately. That yeah, was Generation Game, was it, Mark? Mark's thinking. Yes, it was, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Bruce Forsyth? Bruce Forsyth. Yeah, Larry, Larry Grayson, Grayson, yeah. Do you know we got a lad in Brixham? Well, lad, he's a, he's a bit older than me, so yeah, he is a lad, I suppose. He um, he was Larry Grayson's PA for quite a while. All oh, right. And every now and again, he puts photos up on Facebook of all these stars that is he's met and a picture oh, with them. Wow. And Scylla Black and oh, Diana go. Dawes, and, and that's a great goal Another by Walden there. From Walden. Yeah. That's it. So so that's like Alan Lewis, though, isn't it? Putting photos up with yeah, yeah. police officer. Yeah. Um, Mark Walker, Jace, I'll let you reply to that one. Good afternoon, fellas. Sorry, I'm I'm missing from media team today. Well, I don't know. I'm trying to work that out myself. I know. I saw him um, in the. Uh, I don't uh, think he was refereeing. Obviously, well, I hope not. Obi wasn't refereeing. Is it a corner? Is it a corner? Not it's a corner flag. Corner flag. I saw him in there when I oh, went to okay. the bathroom. Yeah. Well, I would say we're missing you, Mark, but I won't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Hang on, hang on. I mean, I was walking to the bathroom I, I, and I, he's walked past me. The bar oh, is it too posh? Is it? Bathroom. Oh, oh, oh okay, bathroom okay. Too okay. Posh. Nathan, Nathan of posh. Oh. <laughs> All my friends think I'm posh. And I'm yeah, like, no, well, I'm well, I hate to tell you. They call me yeah. Tory. They call me on Tory. They tell well, me on Tory. Uh, I've got to say, yes, Nathan of posh. Oh. I'll have a word with Nick later on, mate. Your, your the, personal chauffeur. The lovely Maria, who's one of our, our helpers here. She has asked if we want another cup of coffee or tea. Oh, oh yes, please. Well, yeah, it's funny that is because I was just about to get. Like, um. Uh, look, look what look what Joanne texted me. Look what Joanne's texted me. Have you finished with your cups? Oh, look at that. Good old. We've now got Maria and Joanne looking after us. Oh. Yes, we'd like some more drinks, please. We got Maria. Uh, one of our helpers here um, is a lovely lady. She's been to nearly all the cup finals this year. And she's not a council member. And she's she? not a council member. She's just a volunteer that does everything for the love of the game. And she's the secretary of Torquay Academy, Academy Football Club, which is a junior club in Torquay. We bailed you out of that one, didn't we? And uh, she's just walking past me now because she's actually you picking up I was some litter. Say, you be careful what and she I'm going to see if she'll have a litter, little interview before. Picker. Maria, you're live on Facebook and, and YouTube. Are you enjoying today? Oh, actually, it's a lovely day. 
fabulous teams, fabulous spectators, of course, fabulous volunteers and media. You know, it's really, really nice. It's not stressful at all. Everybody's very polite. Everybody, you ask them to do something and they're doing it. Fabulous, really fabulous day. I'm glad about that, Maria, and we're very, very grateful for everything you do for us at the Cup Finals. Oh, my pleasure. And now she's going to go and get us a cup of tea as well, would you believe? Am I back on the camera now for the final? I've, I've got some scores. I've got some scores. So, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're getting ready to do some finals again. So some of the teams are just well, having their photos done. Uh, we've got the final set of results in the Devon Disability Intermediate County Cup. And that is Pino 5, Torquay United 0, and Walden 3, Exeter City 1. And the final set of scores in the Devon Disability Senior County Cup is Exeter City 0, Pino 0, and Northam Lions 1, Plymouth Argyle 0. So there you go, Tracy and uh, Duncan. Uh, yeah, Northern won the game. They won, beat Argo one now. They did indeed. So there you go. Um, so our our next game is Pino against Walden. Am I am I correct in, in saying that, Mr. Producer, sir? Oh, look at that! Look. So the final final table and results for intermediate are on their way. Mark's, Mark's just instructing Frizz on, uh, on, on on what he wants. I need a tea order now or a coffee because oh, Maria's I'll kindly offered to do it. What did Maria do with those cups? I think she's taken the cups away. Ah, no, that, that just didn't. Of course, of course, sir. See, Maria even knows what cup's mine. Like. Mine's a white tea with milk, please, Maria. Oh, if she's put Richard top of the league. Yeah, oh, top of the top oh. of the list, didn't I? Just, but I have got a Mark Darling on mine. Just a just a tea for me, please, Maria. <laughs> tea, 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 no sugar, sweet enough. Look, Mark Darling, Richard rubbish. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. You know what cup that goes in? That's the Manchester United one. No sugar. I wonder if Jason Hayward, our producer today, wants a cup of coffee. Oh no, she's coming back. She's coming back to do that. Oh, she's coming back to them. Yeah, she's she's okay. Back to Radio. Look at this, like shorthand. Oh. So we have the final of the intermediate, is it now? Yard. Intermediate County Cup, Disability County Cup. Pinho and Walden. Yeah, we've got Walden in light blue and Shirts with maroon Cla shorts claret and, and blue. Yep. Oh, claret. We're saying claret are we? and blue. Okay, and claret and blue shorts, and pinot in blue shirts with a white flash on it, and black shorts and black socks. Oh, oh, white flash. White flash. Wow. <laughs> Who do we think's going to yeah. win this then, guys? Are we going to have a? Um, Walden. Walden. Think to Walden. Win this. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I just think Walden are, are going to nick this. We'll see how it goes. So we're just about to start. Hello, Nick. How are you, Nicholas? Good. Yeah, good, mate. Thank you. 
Yeah, we're having a great day. Thank you, mate. How's, how's the refereeing going out there? Yeah, there's only been one really naughty tackle, which could have resulted in a yellow in any other game, but um, he got away with it twice. But that's all right. We're, uh, we're trying to keep him in the pocket as much as we can. But, yeah, some good quality football out there. Yeah, good. Good, mate. Yeah, well, yeah, we've seen. It's, it's difficult for us because there's only three of us. Um, tr trying to watch four pitches, it's a little bit difficult. We have seen a, a few goals on this one, so, yeah. It's uh, it's really good. Oh, what a great Davies save from the Walden keeper from the 25. The right you know, cracking shot. shot. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's been, it's been really good so far. So, yeah, we're enjoying it. Cool. First corner to Pino. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, you're right. It's great to have smiles on their faces and... Uh, no, uh, well, that's something that we've said that, that you know, nobody's arguing with anything. Players, coaches, they're just accepting it. Even when you got the goal kick corner wrong earlier on, they just accepted it and uh, and got on with it. So uh, yeah, now we're, we're to be fair, Nate was the one that's. Oh, by the way, um, no, obviously, obviously, you're you know Nate. Apparently, he's, he's people call him Tory because he's a bit posh. Is this? But then, but then, then don't forget, he does go to school at Whitley. And so, it being somebody that can speak English, he's probably you know quite happy in Whitley, isn't he? Yeah, something I have got. Something he has said. Did you used to be a jockey? Yeah, well, many many moons ago. It's my first job. All oh, right. Did, uh, did you ride many winners? I didn't ride any winners. Didn't ride any in races. I broke my leg. Oh, okay. All right. He didn't tell us that, but um, but we 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 reckon he's really posh because he calls it the bathroom. The the, the, the bathroom. Right. It's his pile room. He's in it all day. Oh no 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 no! We, we no. We, he said he, he he saw somebody coming, but whilst they were in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, we're in the bathroom. Yes, in the grass outside. Yes. So so no, we've got we've got we've got two that are uh, posh. He spends um hours manicuring himself. He's got his own mirror in his own in his bedroom now because he uses the one downstairs in our room all the time. So we have to make him one in his own room now, so he can keep keep himself pampered. Is, is, is this the the moustache um, that's uh, yeah 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 with the tash you know the little spider crawling across his face? I did notice that this morning. I just thought he forgot to have a wash. Well, he he says it, it hides 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 from anything else in his face, but I don't think it does. Uh, it's, it's not quite that thick yet, is it? Um, but he's doing a great job on camera at the moment. <laughs> it was always called bum fluff when I was a youngster. Mm. Uh, he's uh, yeah, he's getting. I've got to say, there's a bit of bit of abuse going on here. Friendly abuse, banter. Can't call it abuse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know he's your stepson, mate. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he's come out of that the best, really. Whether it's you or him. Yeah. Well, um, mum was watching earlier. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, Pino just missed there. He got in, got himself what, he, in space. He just missed the goal, and he just missed that player that was walking yeah, off the pitch. Yeah, he did, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Nick, uh, Mrs. Mrs. was watching, Mum was watching earlier. And, oh, had to be nice. Oh, Walden coming through. Chance for Walden. Oh, just wide. Yeah, he's always behaving. He's been really good up here, mate. Very well behaved, apparently. So yeah, good lad. Good, good lad. He's doing all right, isn't he? Yeah, he is. See? On camera cam. He's on, yeah, uh, uh, I don't know if um, is, is commentator cam still active or uh, or not. And young Goldsworthy is just going back to his position so, in the production so, team. So Benjamin, he's, oh, that security in front of him clearing the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it would be. Here it comes. Here comes Uncle Frizz. Yeah. Commentator cam. Should we wave to the camera? Hello, Hello everyone. Hello, watching. world. Uncle Frizz has got the cup ready. Yeah, yeah. I suppose Ben Goldsworthy, he posh. call the bathroom something different, wouldn't he? Would it be the washroom? Yeah, probably it would yeah. be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I mean, he really is posh. Yeah, he? he is. Yeah. So, so Benjamin of Goldsworthy. Yeah. Oh, Lord Benjamin. That Lord is. Benjamin. Yeah. Lord Benjamin of Goldsworthy. Walden posh. are doing a lot of soaking up of pressure at the moment, and and then breaking away quite quickly. So it's, this is an interesting game. It can't be that interesting because I think Kim. Um, oh no, he's taken it off. It was on. It was on commentator cam. 
Oh, Walden's back coming back. through again. Chance for Another Walden. attack. Last minute of the uh, of the first half. Oh, and gone out for a corner. He's given a corner. Yeah, gone out for a corner. So chance to uh, get it in the box. Yeah. Got some tall lads at the back, but they're not coming up. No. Just the two in the box. One in the box. One in the house is going to be a late run, isn't it? Oh, you don't know. They don't seem to be looking for the run, are they? I think it's going to be a late swing out. It's it is. It's going uh, right out to right the defender. Towards the halfway line. Oh, dangerous playing. Good ball. Oh, what a good ball. Yeah, good ball. Very clever. Oh, and Pino are away again now. Yeah. They've won the ball. Very quick, too. Oh, oh. well defended. Oh, oh, again, just getting in the way. Yep. Is that a corner or a throw? It's a throw. Right. See, there, throw. Good head away. Go strong that's, head. That's a throw in as well. It is. Did you hear that? Just yeah. Now? What was that? That was uh, that was probably um, Reese's waiter opening his can. For oh him. right, okay. What is Butler? Oh, just wide from Pino there. Away come the Walden boys. Closed down very quickly from Pino. Yeah. So I think we're in we're in added time. Very tight game, this one, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. There's nothing in it. No. Nope. No. Nope. Couple of chances, half for, chances. Yeah, for, for both teams. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, oh, he's been robbed. He's been oh, robbed. unlucky. Oh, he's got the ball. Uh, it's gone out of play. Oh, he's <laughs> gone out of play. There's a couple of uh, older heads at the back for Walden, aren't yeah. there? And they know what they're doing, don't yes, they? Yes, right. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, oh, Sir Benjamin I'm, I'm of Posh has a girlfriend. She's been told. Yeah. And she's called Lady. And uh, she, and did I hear correctly in my ear, Wolfers, that she's from the West Midlands? Oh, okay, yes. Is she related to um, Liz, by any chance? Liz, you know. Just friends? Ah, okay, okay. Oh, oh, Jace, can you see what I can see? Maria. Look, look at this. Look, look at this. The no, lovely Maria the is lovely back Mar with so, a tray so with four teas on or coffee. Right. Anyway, wedding wedding in the waiting. Uh, Ursula is in front of me. Um, Ursula has stood right in front of me. Pink. Uh, with the pink hat Thank on. Thank you, Maria. Yes. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why definitely. Not? Why not? With our our tea has been delivered, perfectly delivered. Yeah, by Maria. By the lovely Maria. I, was, you can, I thought you were going to go into a song then. What? That's a song sound of music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only thing is that <laughs> Maria, <can't> <laughs> the Maria here is actually Spanish. Yes, she which is. you would have noticed the accent. Oh yes. We've also got, apart from Maria and Uncle Frizz, we did have John Hawkin and Richard Turl, who have now gone, I think, because yep. they had to go for the afternoon. Well, Eddie, Eddie um, and Annette. Eddie and Annette are here, but I was going to say John Hawkin and Richard Turl. If you come to a County Cup final, more than likely will be on the gate taking your money. They have been absolutely brilliant for us for many years, helping us out. And yeah, we, we struggle with it. Yeah, like and then we've got Eddie and um, Annette Green, who are also unpaid volunteers. They're not council members or anything like that. They they just come and help us. Annette is the secretary of the Pioneer Youth League, and, and Eddie is the chairperson. And they were fortunate enough to get the League of the League Year of the award year. for yeah. Devon this year, and, and very well deserved they were too. And now we've kicked off, Rich. Yeah, we're underway. Yeah. See, did you realise that we can actually um, 
fill that much time. I've just got to speak to uh, to Nate a minute. So, go kick given there for uh, Pino. Still waiting for a, a goal in this final. Very close game indeed. The young Plymouth uh, Pino strikers against the veteran Walden defence is a very interesting uh, competition indeed. Uncle Uncle Fraz wants you, uh, Mark. Oh. Free kick to uh, to Walden. Free kick to Walden. Yeah. No complaints either. Notice that again. No, no complaints. No, just got on with it. Yeah. It's going to go backwards and forwards from the goalkeeper to defend. Oh, that's a great move. That's well. a great ball. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, they didn't take into account the speed of the young striker for no. Pino. Um, so someone's put in there on the, on the chat, hello, guys, from the far dugout. Hello, give us a wave. If you're over there still, give us a wave. Is there anyone waving? He's giving us a oh, wave. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> We're waving back. <laughs> uh, Massive oh, he got oh. in there. Oh, that was unlucky. Yeah. And he's oh, go kick. He thinks the goalkeeper touched it. Yeah. And the referee is given the corner. Mm -hmm. Overruled the lines person. Yeah. Assistant referee, I oh, apologise. Well I'm too old-fashioned. Tom Sexsmith, massive shout out to Dan Hewitt for the opportunity to help coach the championship team in the final. Absolutely. Yeah. Got f nothing but praise for coaches of All these teams. All the coaches teams. and uh, volunteers. The amount of time fantastic. they put in for it is amazing. Oh, he just got caught up in the net in that. I think these, for, uh, these veterans at the back are just about... Yeah, they're just about holding it up, aren't they? they? Yeah, they've got it, just about got it over these um, the youngsters up front, haven't they? Yeah. They have. But they're all definitely all enjoying themselves out there. Just can't get that goal. Three-legged gazelle. Yeah, the three-legged gazelle, also known as Jason. There Hayward he goes. The, the gazelle runs past us. Well, strolls past us. Oh, no, stopped. Stopped at the first hurdle. No, nope, stopped. Stalled. Yeah, he's nope, talk stalled. talking to Ste um, Stephen Brealey's, Stephen Brealey's uh, young, young lady. lady. Yeah. Uh, he wants her to go on the... Come up and be interviewed. Oh, look out. Chance. We've got one coming through. Go. First go goes to Pinho's number 25. Yeah. Go for Pinho. Good strike. Good ball in. Yeah. Defenders querying it. The, the defender querying that has just been told by the coach what was what was wrong yeah you know there was no complaints from the coach he's told no, the just defender just it. what yeah. went wrong yeah yeah so uh, do, do you think we're going to get Ursula Cam oh, I don't chance think. oh if we had the roving mic I'd go down there now and I'd yeah and, and interview I'll, I'll, her. I would as well maybe I know Mr. Producers did try did, did we get Ursula Ursula agreement or not no <laughs> she wanted too much money. She wanted too much. Yeah, well, I can understand that. I can understand that. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. See, but at least you've got a budget. <laughs> okay, yeah. So your agent and her agent couldn't agree. Yeah, negotiations broke down early and that was it. Okay. Next year, Jason, I'll have to take a roving mic around with me and well, interview could, somebody in the crowd. If we could find the roving mic. Oh. Can't get the staff, can you? You can, they're just not very good. No. Yes, you did. So it was I, your fault. I didn't have it. I didn't take it away it with your, me. your he fault from, it, the, from, the, from the Premier Cup final. It's disappeared. Uh, uh, 
Hopefully he hasn't put it down somewhere and somebody's picked it up. No, he he would have uh, he would have put it down. Oh, Tim Tom Tom Sixsmith, uh, I volunteered to help with the interviews. Well, all you got to do is come over here, Tom, and uh, and we'll we'll interview. You. It's not a problem. We haven't got a cable that goes that far to the dugout, so uh, so if you want to come over. He's coming. He is coming over yeah, as well. Is. Yeah. <laughs> is he? Is he a coach? Coach for one of the teams? So yeah. Yeah. I think he's with Exeter. So uh, yeah, if he wants to come on over. Chance. Oh, oh, good save. If there's anyone that wants to know anything about coaching the disability teams, uh, bang it on Facebook, and we can ask him a question when he comes over. We can indeed. Or actually, if anyone. If anyone wants to uh, get involved with Ability Counts Football and you don't know how to do it, who do you call? Ash Harris. Ashley At the County Harris. FA. Ashley Harris, and yeah. Pino have won that County Cup by a goal to nil. Goal to nil, yeah. Well yes. done, Pino. That's the second Pino team to win today. It is, yeah. So if, uh, yeah, if anyone wants to know how to uh, get into uh, Ability Counts Football... Uh, want to know where your nearest club is, etc., etc. Yeah. Ashley.harris at devonfa.com and Ash will let yeah. you know, put you in contact with Absolutely. the right people. Absolutely, or get on l online to the Devon FA website and look him up under the staff yes, column indeed. and uh, yeah. find his so phone number if I'm you don't like emailing. If, if I'm correct, um, it looks as if the next final is Exeter City against Northern Lions. Yes, yeah, Pino won one, one nil. Pino won that one, yeah. one nil. Uncle Frizz is presenting the trophy for this one, I do believe. Uncle Frizz. Yeah. You're not doing one today, Mike. No, I'm. I'm taking a back seat today. I'm. I, I'm not one to go in the limelight, Richard. You know me, shy and <coughs> unobtrusive. <laughs> Jason, I don't. I don't know if you can. You know, but there seems to be some sort of. Smell wafting around at the moment. <laughs> it's it's a sort of day to say thank you to our volunteers, volunteers and let them yeah. present what the about, trophy. What about Eddie and I'm going to try and, and get and Frizz to do that as well for the next. Oh, two. Morris is doing this one, is he? Oh, he may be. Yeah, he may be. Oh no, he's been asked to blow the whistle to get people over here. Do you want to? Uh, do you want to go on the PA now? <laughs> he's forgotten he's got to do that, hasn't he? Ladies and gentlemen, the trophy is the and Here we go. There you go. Pinho, winners of the intermediate uh, a disability cup final. So we're getting ready for the net. That's uh, that's three down, two to go. That wrong, wrong, wrong mic. mic. It is indeed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if anyone heard, I'm not so good at multitasking <laughs> or either, am I? So anyone, anyone in the ground that just heard a comment come over the PA going, "Yes, indeed, there is." Uh, yeah, you don't know what he was asked. Yeah, Mark. Um, that's three down, two to go, Mark. Yes, it is right. indeed. All right, well done. Oh dear. Yeah, you know we we have bloopers. Um, you've seen you've seen the bloopers from when we did our strategy. Yeah. You, you know we had to, we had we and the strange thing is my dad's called Mike. <laughs> we 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 had the. Uh, have you, Mark, you've seen the bloopers from the strategy launch, haven't no, you? No, I haven't seen it, but Mike. I do want Jason to send it to yeah, me. There, there's some. Um, yeah, I thought Jason was a friend. Um. So we've got bloopers. We've got one now of the finals as well. Right, okay. So I'm on that now. You're then. on it, yeah. yeah. Well, you're the star yeah, of it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, or there's, there's Jason. Uh, I think... Um, wrong team, Hayward. I think Dawn was on there quite a lot, wasn't she? Yes. Yeah. And yeah, I yourself. was as well. Yeah. yeah. 
on yeah. Mr. Morrison and Chris French. Yeah, we were all on there, yeah. Yeah, I want to yeah. get a copy of that so I can watch it at home in the quiet and have a good laugh. Yeah, laugh. It's a cry. Oh, you a cry, is yeah, it? Yeah, okay. Laugh, it's a right, cry. okay. Yeah. yeah, it's all good, mate. All good in the, in the, in the life of Coach Roy. And then there's, there's Emily, like our new, newest member of staff. Yeah, down there. Where's that? Just, just down uh, this side of the green fence with the blue... Devon County. Oh yes, I see her now. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's Emily. Yeah, she's here on her first day. Is it? Her she's one of the day. one of the weekend. ones associated with Plymouth Argyle. No, she? no, no, she's oh, she's our she's she's weekend. Oh right, okay. Weekenders. She does the weekend yeah, locking up and yeah, everything. Oh, good for our, her. She's one of our weekenders. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, we have got Emily. Um, uh, I think uh, Uncle Chris is sorting it out for Uncle us. Uncle Chris was sorting out a couple of of interviews. He's done it good so far, I've got to say. Um, yeah, so they're just down there having their having their photos done. We've got Pino again, haven't we? Have we? Is, is this team in blue? Have we? Maybe, maybe Jace could change the graphic. Is this... Who's in this final... Um, Rich. Well, according according to the graphic I've got, it's Exeter City and Northern Lions. I, I was told I was told the graphic was ready. I'm sure he did. No, I'm sure he did tell us it was ready. So this is the third Pino team in a final today. Yeah, yeah it is. What a cracking setup that is. Yeah. Ah, ah after my, my, my graphics just changed. <laughs> Thank you, Jace. <laughs> Thanks, Jace. Uh, I love the fact that you keep saying white flat. That's what it is. It's a flash. Oh, God, we've got a dodgy... Oh, we got Miss Wal Mr. Walker <laughs> coming here. Though. I'll tell you what, we've got a dodgy assistant this dodgy side. Dodgy assistant, yeah. Uh, so the results of the Senior Cup are on screen now uh, for everyone to see. And the final league table is there for everyone to see. So we have Exeter City and uh, and Pino. And Pino. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. One of them's one of them's got to lose for the first time today. What was their score in the pl in the, the? Oh, they wouldn't have played each other, would they? What? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What was the score? <laughs> in the group game, it was. Oh. No. No. So uh, yeah. That'll be interesting. Will be interesting. So you So we may um you you'll notice the referee has has the bib in his hand again. Yeah, so, so you see that? You'll probably you may be able to pick up a you'll hear a whistle and you'll see the bib in the air. The bib in the air, yeah. All right. Um don't get confused. Okay. Okay. And that was for you, Mark, don't get confused. Yeah, I'm and Exeter City are in red. Pino are in blue. Bit of trickery rather right next to the player yeah. there. Mark, have you seen the way that Nate sat here? Like? Yeah, it's not comfortable, is it? No, he sat. No. He sat on the back of the seat with his feet on on the actual seat itself. He looks so good he, there, he, perched he, up. Tell you what, he yeah. actually looks quite comfy. Yeah, for him he now. does. Yeah, I don't think I'd better try that. No, I'd probably end up under the stand. I wonder if Frizz has arranged an interview. Okay. Nathan the Owl. Oh, okay. Q, we've got one of them. <laughs> we've, yeah. yeah we've. Uh, 
Yeah, so, so yeah, we, we, we've we got a, a Jose. We've got a Jose. I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call Jason the sloth, would you? Three-legged gazelle was better. Yeah. <laughs> He'll tell you Chance he's for Pino. Oh, look out. That's a good good move by Pino. Good ball in. Oh, uh, well read by the defender. Nice little nonchalant flick away. Yeah, with it the, was uh, very much so, yeah. Oh, oh, what a great chance. ball. This is a chance. Oh. Well played, the keeper. Got out and there. The player that had the chance was actually the one that started off with that flick down that end. Yeah. So it came all the way up the I pitch. I take it they don't it. mind the goalkeeper wearing the same no, kit as no, the players they, in this. Well, no, not really. Because as you've seen, they swatch around, switch around a lot. Swatch around a lot? Switch around a lot. So uh, now they uh, are pretty uh, lenient on that. Yeah. Right, concerning Uncle Frizz has got the cup, or is that the next cup? That's for this one, I think. Right, okay. Oh, we didn't get we didn't get a uh, a volunteer from no that nobody one. from Pino wanted no. to come up and be uh, interviewed. Okay. okay, we'll get someone. We'll grab someone. Dave. Dave, come up here. Yeah, Dave's coming up from Wall Dunlap. Here he is. So we got Dave from Walden who just played in the last cup final, the Intermediate Cup. Dave, unfortunately, you didn't win the game, but your your um, skills as a what would I like to say, um, a veteran against those two young lads up front. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I did. Um, like I said, on the day, you lot have done a good job of laying it on what you've done here for everybody. And make sure next season going to be even better. Because you deserve it. Good. Thank you for saying that. And have you enjoyed your day? Yeah, on my birthday as well, so I'm enjoying it. Oh, happy birthday. Many happy returns, happy Dave. Birthday. Many happy returns indeed. There you go. Thank you very much. Yeah, you go and take care. Oh, <laughs> beer. He said beer. <laughs> ah, beer. No. Um, be a be a bull, be a bull. I remember, be a bull. Is so that the Pino lads down there? Mm, yeah, I think it is. We'll we'll try and grab the uh, coach later on. Um, oh, is it? Yeah, right. You know, obviously, we did the. Um, we've had all the mainstream finals. Yeah, we, we were going to do a team of the um, the cup finals. Right, myself, Jason, and uh, Matt Parrott. Well, we've done them. Right. Okay. We're going to do a. We're going to do a. Um, we're going to record it. We're going to do a, a, a live or a, a um, or, yeah. It's okay. Going to be recorded on Wednesday. On right. Our, I'll be back in Bristol chat. on Wednesday. So yeah, but it'll be, it's only been recorded. It'll go out later on. Okay. Um, but we've all done it independently, and there were no rules on the who we could pick. So uh, yeah. Come up here. Come. So yeah, we we've um, okay, mate. we've we've done that. Um, I and, and think we've got the goalkeeper from the last Pino yeah, team, we have. and we've got oh. also got. This is very interesting. We've also got one of the young players who's partially, uh, partially hard of hearing. Okay. Is that the word? Um, yeah, no, he's not. We've only got oh no, he's gone again. He's not coming. We've got the keeper. Okay, come and sit down here a minute. It's the goalkeeper for. Pino. Oh, we've got a few joining us now, oh, so let's see how over. many we can get in, shall we? Um, what's your name? Uh, Nathan. Nathan, you're the captain, are you? Uh, or you share it? No, right, OK. Uh, First of all, well done on winning the Intermediate Cup. Oh, thank you very much. It was a very hard final. And to be honest, it was two very even teams. That's exactly what we were saying on commentary, that that could have gone either way. Um, you had two, you had two young lads up front, and they had two old heads that no, knew what they were doing. Watch. It was a great battle between those two, but uh, yeah, you won, so you're happy. Yeah. Who have you got with us here? Yeah. Yeah. Plays anywhere, defender or midfield, right. and uh, we've got a player over there who is who's missing. Milo's our defender. Right, okay. Lovely. And literally, like, like at, the start of, at the start of the season, I'm going to be honest, I didn't want to say this, but no one gave us any chance. 
really good. We, we won the league, we finished unbeaten, and we backed it up to not, uh, today. Got the double. Yeah, definitely. And now you've got... This is, this is the third team now we're watching out there from Pino. Uh, yeah. The ladies uh, won theirs. Uh, yeah, they won it on penalties. Yeah. Um, very, very difficult uh, game as well. To be honest, I said to the Walden manager, I wouldn't be surprised if we got took to penalties as well. So that's what I was kind of gearing up, um, gearing our, uh, our players up for. And luckily, Kai scored in the last two minutes. Brilliant. It's Kai. Kai. Kai, the winning goal scorer. You'll be able to live on that for a few few years now, won't you? Yeah, it was, it's amazing to score the last goal in a cup final. It's unbelievable. And you've enjoyed it here today with all the teams? Yeah, absolutely. It's been brilliant. And the disability football events, you, all the teams seem to get on with each other. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all respect. Might have a little couple of hotheads, but at the, at the end of the day, it's all respect. And you, I'll just have a quick word with your other colleagues. You enjoyed yourselves today? Yeah, I really enjoyed myself. When I start the season, you know, as Nate said, that we were... Um, start off so so well. Uh, we finished season unbeaten, and to to win the double is is an amazing feeling. You know, games were end to end, but the main reason is just getting the job done and um, and putting teams to a side and 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 um, winning trophies and medals and, and silverware. So absolutely, and I see you're tucking into your sausage and chips already. Uh, yeah, absolutely delicious it is, and that game over there, brilliant. It was great to win the double. Uh, I'm new here, so I, when I first joined, I was a bit unsure what the team was like, but coming in, winning all these games was brilliant. Uh, just an absolute delight to play for this team. Everyone gets on well with each other, like Kai said. Well done, guys, and, and it's it's quite a mixture of disabilities as well, I hear today, isn't it? So, do you mind us asking what your disability is? Not at all. I've got um, ADHD and anger issues. Right, okay. got um, autism and a learning delay, so... I got autism, ADHD, dyslexia, and dyspraxia, hip and hip dis displacement. Really? So that that could cause you a problem during games and uh, things like that. Then is, hip dyspraxia uh, can play up on round, of course, hips, and it does get quite achy. But uh, I just play through it. That's re I'm really impressed by all of you lads, and uh, thank you for coming up and giving us an interview. Well done on winning the cup, and we look forward to seeing you again next season. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done, boys. Cheers. Well done, boys. So, anyone, anyone that's that's out there now that proves just with that bunch of lads, yeah, that actually football is for everyone. Because if you've got the slightest disability or you know concern, just wait a minute, um, then actually you can still play football. So yeah, that's really good. Go on, Mike. Got, I've just got one more thing. One of the lads from Pino just wants to say something. Um, today, got um, two goals. Well, three goals in total, two assists, including the last one, so that makes three. So, I played well all season. When I first came into the club, uh, I, I was like very shy, didn't score many goals. But as time got on, you know, I um, all big credit to my friends and family and, and everyone around me for giving me the love, support. Um, with mental health and that and uh, yeah it, hard work pays off and you know I really put my mind into football obviously I lost um, my dad when I was 14 and a half but overall I'm sure he'll be looking down today and be really proud of how I far I've become and joining in with the club and, and making an impact and also keeping everyone very happy and obviously to assist um, Kai for the last um, for the last minute winner I feel um, I'm absolutely buzzing and I'm going to really celebrate tonight and get on the piss up. So, thanks. <laughs> we pardon, pardon. Well, well done. Sorry about well the uh, swear word there <laughs> live online. Um, oh. We've got one very happy dis well dis disability lad there. And, oh, uh, that was fantastic. We'll forgive him that one mistake. Yeah. And I'm we'll sure... Bleep that, we'll bleep that one out. Uh, I'm more than sure that his dad's sitting up there very proud of his son today. All right. Yeah, I was I'm, I was dreading that then. I thought if he comes up and says anything else, I'm <laughs> yeah. But that that's 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 disability football for you, though, isn't it? You know, that's what it's all about. Yeah, absolutely. 
That's what it's all about. And f- being brave enough to say all that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we, what Very was, open what with their good, disabilities. Yeah, what was good, Mark, is that, yeah, like you say, that, that they're just so enthusiastic. Yeah. And and they just want to be here. Like yeah. They've loved yeah. being here today. And it's great that they will talk about it. Yeah. I mean, you know, I... I I didn't know whether to ask or not, and then but you, you said did anyway. Well, I did anyway, yeah. But I did, I did say, "Do you mind me?" Yeah. And, and they were more than willing to come yeah. forward. And there was also one lad there that was stood with them that didn't want to be interviewed because he's very hard of hearing. Um, mm-hmm. And and you know, they all mixed together, and they're all saying goodbye to us now and waving. Yeah. Is is great? Yeah. And what a day! That's what I'm saying. So so anyone that's got a disability, however. Small. Oh, oh what goal. a goal from Pino, number oh. sixteen. What a goal! That's got to be goal of the week so far. That one. That was yeah. top right, top right hand corner that as we look at it. Finish. Top left for the goalkeeper. Yeah. Oh, that was some goal. Um, yeah. So anyone that's got a, you know any sort of uh, disability, feel free to contact Ash if you're not in the Absolutely, team. Absolutely. Yeah. Because Ash yeah. will tell you where your nearest team is and 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 gives you a chance to uh, come and play and be part of this. Just looking down now, the the lad that we just spoke to is now having his photograph taken with the cup. Look. Cup and, and his medal, <laughs> yeah. So pleased. Yeah. And so they should be. They've worked hard. You know, they have worked hard to get here, actually, you know. Remember, so these these two, or these events are because they've, they've qualified through two um, of the league weekend yeah well they've played 12 games some of them yeah yeah here, so yeah yeah you know it's uh it's what it's all about and it's pleasure putting it on as for these guys oh, as yeah, well isn't it you definitely. know oh. look at that i mean anyone that the says that there. anyone that says that they've not got very much commitment no you've just seen what's happened yeah, there from both players yeah we got an injury at the moment and it was literally just a shoulder to shoulder yeah nothing uh no it's going to cause call the uh, he's he's on his way. He's off off the field of play. Yeah. Ashley Ashley uh, shouted something. The referee told her, "Be careful! You're on camera." Yeah. <laughs> I think it was Stephen. Will you marry me? Oh, was it? <laughs> Shall yeah. I ask her? Yeah. No, he hasn't asked yet. No, he hasn't asked yet. He hasn't asked yet, apparently. Oh, sorry. I forgot to turn the mic off. Oh, that's so, oh, we that was all that picked up. up. Then. Yeah, oh. yeah. And oh, um, she's very shy and doesn't want to ask Stephen live on. Oh, on the dear. Other as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, come on, Stephen. Make would him you, honest Would you like another. us to ask Stephen for you? <laughs> no. That, that was oh, yeah. She's walked away, so I'm saying that. I'm, I'm assuming that's a yes. <laughs> oh, oh good a save. save! Well, what a save. You know, keeper keeps them in. Keeps them in it. Oh, 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 oh! Well done, the keeper again. Yeah, it's gone out for a corner. Oh, Ashley's back. Has she changed her mind? No, she's coming back. She's spoken no. to a solicitor. Yeah, and uh, yeah, <laughs> injunctions against us. Uh, from using any of that, uh, yeah, or, or, or she's, oh, yeah, yes. she's, she's, maybe she's sorting out uh, car parking spaces. Yeah, you know, making sure that. There's, anyway, there's Stephen Brearley, if you do listen to this, um, like that, you know. come on, get that ring sorted out. Come on, Steve. Back to the football. Pino no, now on another minute. lively attack. I think we're in the last min- last few yeah, seconds. So they've scored another late winner in the yeah. cup final. This could be a hat trick of wins for Pino. They're uh, they're good at doing that, aren't they? Yeah. Getting these late winners. The lad who scored the goal's doing sign language, so I'm presuming yeah. that he's uh, yeah. He's one of our death. Pat- Participators or participants? Participants, that's the word. Players. Oh, good ball. Good ball. Oh, Whistles in the mouth. That's it. It's all over. Well done, Pino. A hat trick of wins in the County Cup. 
And the first thing you see is their opponents giving them a round of applause. Oh, it is indeed, is yeah. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. So again, whilst we've got a little break before we do the presentation, uh, thank you to Allwood Timber for sponsoring absolutely, the event. Yeah, always. And, and for Elevate, who are uh, sponsoring all the broadcasts for all our cup finals, the player development app. Uh, go on to Elevate. If you put Devon as your club, you get a free seven-day trial. There's lots of videos uh, which have been done by professional players from both the women and men's game. So, yeah, go and enjoy that. Um, we're just waiting for the presentation now. Yeah, we are indeed. The winners, Pino, again. Uh, it's, what's going on? Congratulations to Pino. Um, yes, another, another final for them and another... So then, and then we're just down to um, Premiership. Yes, we are indeed. Yeah, remember you it wasn't the wrong mic that time. It wasn't was no the wrong mic. mic. There was no mic. No <laughs> mic, Mark. Mark the man. Talk us. About, talk us about. Talk oh. us about Mark the man. Everybody bet it, put money on him, Let didn't they? Because it was because of my name. Yeah. Well, and then no, it was my fault. Wasn't, wasn't that the the jockey? The expert jockey said Mark the man. Oh, did he? Yeah. We shouldn't have backed it then, should we? Because no. he won very good at, no. you know. The, the yeah, you backed the favourite, Pack the favourite, back the favourite. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the, he said Mark the man. Yeah. So, no, there was no Mark the man for us. Lost me lost me and my mum money on that one. No. Three yeah. Pa three pounds. There we go. There we go. Ah. Un Uncle Frizz did well there, didn't he? Yeah, well, Uncle Frizz did really well. Yes, he did. He forgot to tie the ribbons on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we love Uncle Frizz. don't know why. <laughs> Uncle Frizz. Only Uncle Frizz could do that. Have you noticed? We can slate... Hey, just whatever we say now, say it about Mr. Hayward. Not on that mic, Mark, on the other one. He's, he's not got his ears on. So there you go, they're having their photos done. Um, they're just, he's just going to come up. Okay. Could the exit, turn it on. Could the exit to City players please go to the bottom of the pitch by the offices to be presented your meadows, please? The exit to City players, please. Ash. And also, after the Meadows, could we have the Pino coach and one of the players just to come up and have a quick interview live on Facebook and YouTube? I can see he's trying to hide just down from me there, but that would be nice. Sorry, I didn't have my ears on properly. No. Um, ben, uh, Benjamin? I can't. Benjamin, no, no. Reese. Reese. Thank oh you, Reese. I know you're uh, you're going in a minute, so I just want to say thank you, um, not only for today, um, and the insights into Sir Benjamin of Posh, but for ev all the work that you've done during our cup finals. Seriously, seriously. Yeah, well done. Well without, done, Reece. Without you, Reese, production would have been awful. Yeah, I agree. All right. He's No, seriously, mate. We uh, we we appreciate uh, everything you've done, and um, we look forward to uh, next season. We're ready. Absolutely. Has, has, has Jason booked you uh, in for next season yet? Um, if he hasn't, if he ha if he doesn't, um, the, we'll we'll just put you on our contract anyway. Um, uh, yeah. But no, seriously, race. Thank you for what you've done during all the cup finals, and 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 also, can you can you thank your dad? Because obviously you struggle to get here without him. So uh, yeah, thanks, thank you, mate. We we appreciate it. So unfortunately, you now this means that our production will probably dip a little bit now. Does this mean that we may 
be having to replace Mr. Hayward as a producer and keep well, the two gold worthy? Well, all I'm going to say is you're chairman of cups. Right. Okay. Yeah, now, but media covers no, no, no. more than just cups, yeah, it though, does, doesn't it? Does. it? Ah, but surely as chairman of cups, yeah. you should be able to pick your media team. Well, yeah, that's true. I didn't think of that. So, uh, Mr. Hayward better be nice to me over the next 12 or 11 months, won't we? Won't he? You know, so, so, uh, so, uh, so, Mr. So, Mr. Hayward's just just picking up his laptop, started throwing that across the stand. <laughs> at you. Um, um, no, but seriously, I mean, even, 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 I know we have a bit of banter, but Jason's pretty much the only one that knows how to set everything Absolutely up. brilliant. <laughs> yeah, he's absolutely you know, brilliant. And all right, we, we, we may have missed a few goals. Jason may have missed a few goals in, you know, yeah. last year's Veterans Final. Yeah. And, and things like that. But, yeah. you know, it, it just, it just happens, you know. It's, it's the same as getting hit by a ball when you're refereeing, isn't well, it? Well, yeah, there is that, I suppose. Same, yeah. Um, so we're just waiting now for, uh. For the Premier Final. The Premier Final, yeah. Oh, she is. So we've got joined uh, by the latest member of our, Devon FA staff. Our newest member of staff. Yeah. Mm. Our newest a member lovely of young staff. lady called Emily who's going to sit next to me. And Oh, uh, yeah. Do you want me to interview? No, you, you can do the interview. Yeah, you want me to you can do the interview. So, Emily, you've just been taken on by Devon FA to look after the pitch on weekends. Is that correct? I have, yeah. First day today. Good, that's good. And, um, and what do you do normally during the week, I mean? So I work at Totnes um, Leisure Centre um, as like a assistant manager there. So yeah, I, I play football myself and was just looking for, yeah, weekend work. And I thought, what a great place to, yeah, come and spend my weekends, really. Mark, Mark <laughs> don't mention, she plays for, played for Buckland, which was the team that Mr. Hayward called Torquay United. He didn't. He did, yeah. All right. That's dreadful, isn't it? Sorry, you can carry on there. And that is, again, the team that he was refereeing when he get, got hit by the ball twice. So do you, do you enjoy your football, Emily? Yeah, I love football. I've played it from really well since I was about like eight, really. I used to just play from my primary school. The only girl on the team. And then, yeah, just played ever since, really. So, yeah, love it. Love it. Watch it. Play it. Yeah. Good, so you'll be here every weekend to set up pitches and for things for the youth that are training here and the matches? Yeah, that's the plan, yeah. I'll be here um, yeah, whenever I can, really, on the weekend, so, yeah. Good, well, good luck on that. And I see I've got the Pino team wanting to come up and be interviewed now, so I better move on. And good luck with your job with, uh, with Devon. And I'm no doubt we'll see each other when the matches come up during the end of next year. Okay, okay Thanks, bye. Thanks, Emily. There you go. See, no, right. there's, there's members of staff that have been, been here for years. So you haven't, you haven't done an interview. She's here for a first day. I know, you brilliant. Know, three hours yeah, later, she's absolutely. doing an interview. So, uh, right, I'll we've just been on. joined by the coach and one of the players of the Pino team that have just won the Devon Senior Cup. What's your name, sir? Ray. I'm Ray. Hello, hello, Ray. You're coach. You're the coach of this team. I'm the coach for P Pino Ability. Yeah. Yeah. So Pino have gone got three of the four cup. No, th all, th all, of them. all of the cups so far. We've done well. We've got all the, we got all of all the cups. Um, the boys have played extremely well. I'm pleased with them. Even though I got three deaf ones, and this was in the in the squad that can be very um, daunting at times in trying to communicate, but we've worked it out. As long as I bring in enough pen, pens and p uh, paper. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's always difficult, but it's lovely to see um, dis dis many disabilities all joining yeah. together. I just interviewed some of the team from the previous cup final of yours. And there's ADHD, there's um, deaf, and, and all different mixtures coming in. And, and what a great thing that is for not only the club, but for all of the players as well. I, I totally agree. Uh, we got a mixture, as you said, uh, of everybody uh, that got um, problems. Um, I mean, it don't only have to be deaf and all that. I mean, you got um, personal issues in as much 
some of them got um, didn't only ADHD, but some of them got um, behavior problems. Yeah. Um, there's um, also uh, other well, numerous things, and we as a club, uh, is no, ju we don't judge anybody. We have them; they all come along, join in, and uh, we have fun. That's what it's all about. The winning of the cups comes after that, but the having fun is the main thing, and winning a cup is just an extra bonus. That's right. That's very true. It is a bonus, um, and the boys have worked hard. In fact, all my uh, teams have worked hard. I, my head coach is here somewhere, but um, the thing is, he actually runs it, uh, but I'm just like uh, a stand-in. Um, for one of the teams because he can't be in two places at once. Well, that's fair enough, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> and you've, you've managed to get them through and won the final. I have. Yeah, they haven't lost, they haven't lost a match at all. Brilliant. Uh, I'm going I'm to talk to the young man that's to your right. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Uh, I'm, my name's Samantha White. Uh, I'm a part of a disability council team uh, in Penho. Uh, I've been on the team for eight years now. Uh, with uh, all around team, we've I've joined everyone in a team, from the higher leagues to the lower leagues, and I've absolutely enjoyed it myself. Excellent. So, if you don't mind me asking, what's your disability? Uh, I have a speech and language disability. Um, I was born with a cleft palate, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, um, I have ADHD, all that type of stuff. Um, I have dyslexia and everything else. Uh, I'm also transgender in uh, male to female, so uh, this is a good uh, way to uh, like get to know people and play the game I want to play. Uh, I like playing football and meeting up with friends and just having a good time and meeting newer teams. And everybody, we were saying to your last team that won one of the games, it's so lovely to see that no matter whether you play for Pino, Walden, Exeter, Northam Lions, everybody seems to get on after the game or before the game. On the field, OK, you're against each other, but there's still that camaraderie and sportsmanship going on. And there's, there's no, there's no um, sense of discrimination towards any disability. And, and it's so lovely to watch. Yeah, we... We, we tend to keep everything friendly, even after the games, we keep a uh, friendly manner with all teams. Uh, we believe that if we're friendly to them, they're going to be friendly back to us. And we don't uh, like being unfriendly to other teams at all. Um, it just makes us look bad in a team. And with, uh, as a club as well, it just looks bad on us if we argue with other teams. And have you, got a, have you got a team in the finals of the Premier Cup as well today? Uh, yes, so we've got the Pinho uh, Prem team. Uh, that's our main team. Uh, that's the team that I used to play in. And then I got uh, put down to the Championship. Uh, we are now back up into the Championships this year. Um, that's coming. And hopefully we can win the Cup again next year well you never know you could be here talking to me again next year how about that <laughs> anyway your coaches you've got to say something nice about the coaches before um, you go haven't you yeah so i my coaches are amazing uh they've they keep us fit they train us and we do so many exercises and different drills in our team and we we just have fun uh we te we take this a serious sport but um, we keep it as a team matter and we just train as a team and not as a single separate team, a part of everyone else. That's great news. That's really good. Look, your coach is now, he's, he's not going to be able to get through the front door when he gets home. You realise that, don't you? <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming up for the interview. I see you've got the cup and your medal there. Congratulations on winning that and go and enjoy the rest of your day. And we look forward to seeing you next season, hopefully. Yes, and you too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Congratulations. No Thank you. There you go. Another great interview. That is... Uh
That's really good. Um, Mark, you may notice we're, we're down to two pitches now. Yes, I did right. notice that. That's a lot easier, isn't it? Well, yeah. Who have we got then? Which pitch is which? Uh, we got, we're still, this is still pitch two, this side. Yeah, I and, know that. still pitch one the other side. Yeah, I know <laughs> that. <laughs> we got Pino in blue. Yeah, I was told that by... Uh, Plymouth, Plymouth Warriors in uh, Claret and um, yellow and, and black. What a great kit that is. And... Uh, the far side, we've got Tiverton and Exeter City. Tiverton, obviously, in the Tiverton yellow. In the Tiverton yellow. Yeah. And uh, Exeter City in the, uh, in the usual City red and white. Yeah. All right. I, I'm not that keen on that kit. What, the Exeter City yeah. one? Well, again, it's... Oh! Oh, it's come off the keeper and gone in down there. Oh. Exeter shot, hit the post, hit the keeper on the back of the legs, and it went in the back of the net. Oh. Awful way to see the goal. Yeah, and... Oh, well, we don't keep... We're now coming up to the sort of um, the cream of the, the cream of the football and disability section, yeah, now, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah good footballers. These, in these this. are, um, I mean, obviously you've seen a lot of the uh, the ones before. They're a bit you can notice their disabilities more yeah. than uh, yeah. than others. Um, whereas these are, um, yeah, they're they're more. Mental health issues, etc. Yeah, et cetera, et cetera. yeah, so, yeah. It's um, this will be good. This this will be good. And I've got to say, actually, what a save! Oh, a save two again. great saves. Pino are putting the pressure on. Yeah, and um, away they come. You you you'll see. Um, you can see already how how quick it is. How you know, but when you're refereeing it, yeah, it's. Uh, you can't switch off for one second. No, no, I can imagine. I haven't refereed these That's before. definitely a foul. <laughs> yeah. Dave, Dave Loder, the referee's calling. I mean, in this, he's got to talk to the players, hasn't he? Oh, yes. You know, yeah. and, and a lot of these play mainstream football at quite a decent level as well, I would imagine. Yeah, there'll be, there'll be lots of talking from referees going on yeah. in this, these next few games. He spoke to both of those at the same time. Yeah, he did. Because there was actually two tackles yeah. that went in, so... Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be good. Ash is back. I reckon Ash has done about 30,000 steps today. Shall we give him a quick interview as well, shall we? Yeah, I'm go on. Let's, I let's might let's interview Frizz then. Let's, let's interview Ash. Mr. Harris, how the devil are you? We've, um, we've just saying what a great feel that this tournament's had today. It's brilliant, yeah. yeah. So sporting. It's gone really well having the um, like two the the two four two sets of four, not loads of people all at once. So uh, no, it's yeah, gone well. yeah, it's gone really well. And Pino, uh, they got a chance of the I clean know. sweep today. Well, Shamrockshire Rovers won the league. Apart from Shamrockshire, yeah, yeah. 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 Level. But I yeah. saw the goal in the intermediate final. It was a great. Oh, goal. what a goal! Yeah, yeah, what a goal that was! Oh, sorry, yeah, the senior final. That was. Yeah. So they won both one 0 didn't they? Yeah, they did indeed. So who are we? Who's the favourites for this one then? Well, Exeter City won. So you oh, penalty. Oh, penalty or free kick? Oh, no, he's not giving it. So you got Premiership 1 and 2 uh, from the league. Exeter City and Plymouth Warriors are the Premiership le 1 level. Right. And Tiverton Town and Pinho are the Premiership 2 level. Right, OK. Exeter City, I'd probably say a favourite. So they, yeah. they won the Prem 1. But Pino are very strong. In they are two. very good. They're going to get promoted up to Premiership one. Right. Season. Okay. So I think I think Pino could make the final, but I think Exeter City might win the final. Right. That'll okay. Be my, uh, prediction. I think they're winning down that bottom end. Oh, it's an, oh, what a good save! Oh, great tackle, well, yeah. The first go to Tiverton hit the post and hit the goalkeeper on the back of the legs on the rebound and went straight in the back of the net. Oh, so, no. so <laughs> Mark. Mark, you've had a prediction from Ashley Harris. Yes, we have. All right, you know yeah. what he's like at predicting things. Exeter City versus Pino in the final with yeah. an Exeter I had win. A good prediction yeah. on that horse on Friday, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, well, the one, there yeah. you go. The one you gave the jockey a load of grief about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, believe me, Ash, we've told the viewers already. Yeah, about yeah, that. we told them that. And yeah. to be fair, the jockey. Just keeping the bosses happy. Chris and Paul won some money on that, so. Uh, Oh, oh, right, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. We got oh, Ash right. the Creep Harris. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're just wondering whether we're going to interview Mr. Frizzle or not. No. What do you think? No, yeah. no, definitely not. I don't. I don't believe we've got enough insurance to cover <laughs> Mr. Frizzle. <laughs> oh, 
he's just, oh, do you know what he's just done? He sat in front of me and he's just plucked the hair off my leg. <laughs> oh, 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 I think there could be blood in a minute. <laughs> and it would probably be frizzles. <laughs> so you, do you think the format today, Ash, compared to the previous seasons, has been a bigger success? It's been good. Well, it's the first Disability County Cup finals we've done since 2019. Yes, it is. For yeah. obvious reasons with COVID. So, um, but, Hang on, we've just got... Oh, that's um, okay. Yeah, I think the formats work well. It, it's from compared to three years ago, we've got a couple of extra divisions in the Devon Ability Council League. So yeah, that's why there used to be three men's cups. Now there's four. Yeah. Um, but it's a long day, but ev everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. This formats work quite well, I think. It's a long day for some of us. We were before you, Ash. Yeah, <laughs> we've been. I, I was here banging We've been talking for <laughs> nigh on four hours but now. Ash, Ash. Now, obviously, you're taking credit for this idea this format but who was the real person that came up with us wow. that, that bright spark i mean that one that one spark of in 12 months that this person gets who was it um it wasn't you for it no it certainly wasn't for it was it? it certainly wasn't for it who was it it was you mr mason oh, well, it wasn't me as uh, such but it was oh, well, i think no. it was just hayward, I think. mr yeah, hayward yeah yeah yeah, it was it was my my idea was the referee appointments. You know, I think if you got had the job title referee developer, so you come up with some good ideas. Didn't for, you? for referees, yeah, but not yeah. for tournaments. Yeah, but actually, Mr. Hayward, ex RDO referee development yeah. officer, yeah. came up with it. So obviously, yeah. so the ideas the ideas are that just come to the referee development officers and yeah. we'll, we'll sort it out, mate. But yeah, no, it's been really good at the moment, Ash. Um, I'm only covering this mic because Nate's um, decided to go to the corner flag and get some chips. Oh, okay. So he's he's got chip and 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 commentator Cam can see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, it's um it's been really good and the sun's come out. Yeah, the sun's come out for the for the Premiership nice. finals. Um, we've we've had help from the cups committee, um, a chairman. Ben. Yeah, big thank you from to the committee for helping oh. today. Oh, and the volunteers. It's, it's the chairman that does it, mate. Is it? Yeah. 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 No, they're a great, they're does, a great bunch of volunteers. Uh, and yes, I mean, they are. Well, I mean, you the say, ones we have right, here today so, are. So you say about volunteers, right? Maria is out there now, lad. Yeah. On the pitch. Yeah. And yeah. she's got a carrier bag and she's picking up, she's all, picking the up all the rubbish on the left, that part of the pitch. You know, yeah. it's, it's just Absolutely amazing. Wonderful. Yeah. Great it's job. just amazing what's... Um, Eddie and Annette and John and uh, Richard and, of course... Yes, yeah. Mr. Frizzell, who seems to have disappeared when we said we were going to give him an interview. He's yeah. sort of yeah, run well away. Have you noticed that he's on he's on pitch patrol? Yeah. He's now on pitch patrol. Yeah, I'm with, with Maria. Yeah. Do you think he likes to have a clipboard just to make himself look busy? Yeah, I think oh. he... <laughs> if you're Allegedly. of an age, you can remember Blakey from On The Buses. <laughs> oh, oh Frizzo <laughs> from On The Cup Finals. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have oh. you, Bewley. <laughs> Oh, should we just call him Blakey as he walks past? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, cool. He always had a, bla a clipboard, though, didn't he, Blakey? Yes, he did, yeah, yeah, he did. He did, yeah. Was he the guy with the moustache? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love you, Butler, he used yeah. to say. <laughs> uh, and he's, le oh, he's leaning on the post, like, yeah. 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 He's, giving it, he's giving it big style. Oh, I don't know why he's pointing out both of us there. <laughs> That's what I love about Frizz, as you, you can, you know, some of them are, some of your committee, Mark, are, are very um, experienced. Yes. Sometimes you, you've, yes. you don't know whether you can... Uh, laugh and joke with have, them. Have a serious laugh and joke with yeah. them, you know, or, or what. But actually, Frizz, you can just say whatever you like I to him. i tell you what, while we're on the topic, obviously, disability football here today, yeah. they, um, they've got the FA Disability Cup at St George's Park this weekend. <laughs> have you seen it on BT Sport? The, the blind yeah. final finished 2-2, and the equaliser in the last minute was brilliant. It was like Stanley Matthews years ago, kind of. Oh, you, really? You get a chance yeah. to, to have a look at the last goal. Uh, t to be fair, I did watch a bit of the um, amputee final. Yeah, yeah. The, the Man City and Portsmouth game yesterday, mm. and that looked absolutely amazing. Good. And to be playing at St George's as well was just, you know, oh, good, oh, good save. What a save. Yeah, you know, to be playing at St George's Park is just amazing. Isn't it? Oh, and we got a ball girl now, look. Uh, Emily, Emily's sprinting uh, so, over so, there. So where's our Scott gone? Don't know. 
I mean, I don't see Scott the Gazelle. We see Emily the Gazelle. Yeah, don't she... See, uh, don't see Scott and, and Emily's the four-legged gazelle because we've got our own three-legged gazelle, Mr. Hayward. Oh, oh, am I? No, oh, I'm back. No, you're okay. I'm back. <laughs> oh, that was a great cross. Yeah, was wasn't ball. it just, yeah. Oh, you know what, what defending. Do you know what, what's really, really strange? Because we've seen five aside, all for the others, yeah. seeing it seven aside on this size pitch, you yeah, think, yeah. my God, we could do with a bigger pitch. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's really good, Ash. Um, the league the league should be proud of what they do. Yeah. And without that, these guys and yeah. girls wouldn't be here today. So, And no. to be fair, Ash should be proud of what he does. Oh, don't. don't. You know, he's, he's committed to he is, disability yeah. football 100%. And oh, it's he all is. Back to the team, isn't it? We've got a great committee. I'll try and get Paul Baldwin to come up in a minute. He's the league chairman. Who is, uh, who is so Mike Baldwin? Paul, Paul Baldwin. Oh, Mike Paul Baldwin. Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Baldwin, yeah. And we had um, Chris and Sue Stevens came up earlier. They're stepping down at the end of the season, but they've given 10 years of great oh, service to, to the league. Top service as well, yeah. yeah. So it's not nice to I see think that. probably without Chris and Sue, the league would have, the league would have, have struggled. Yeah, ago, absolutely. So, um, so a big shout out to them. And people like Alan Lewis yeah, as yeah. well. Do a great job. Yeah. Well, this is a great run by Pinho. Yeah, it is. Just yeah, but I mean, Pinho, the new t the new kids on the block. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm. And they've won three three of the four so far. We've got five teams as a club. Yeah. And potentially, well, three of their five have won county oh, captains. Won the finals, haven't they? Yeah. So, yeah. That's, oh, good defending not, again. That's not bad for a team in their first, but second it would season. It would be a bit of a shock if the premiership team wins. Oh. Um, there's plenty of times where the uh, underdogs won. Yeah, and definitely, definitely. So, uh, well, well, the Women's uh, Premier Cup final this year. Yeah, talking yeah, about indeed. Against City, that was yeah, underdog story. Yeah, it was indeed. We were saying that last final, the two young lads for Pino up against the two veterans from Walden was a great yeah, battle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was really good at the final whistle. They all had really good respect for one Oh, good effort there. They wanted to do a joint team yeah. photo. And yeah, yeah, that's it's so good that they're all friends and. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Jason Hayward's taking the Mickey out of me, saying uh, what a great job you do, to, uh, Ashley. <laughs> it's not. It's, this is the old, uh, you know, radio what radio, radio yeah. one, wasn't it? Radio one, you know, used to do the little sob stories, didn't they? Yeah. If they the did indeed. If the jockey from Friday's watching. I, I do apologise for um, winding them up. <laughs> yeah, on and 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 and, Al, and uh, Ashley would like to say actually he thinks that the his drinks were spiked because because <laughs> normally one half isn't enough to get him drunk. Um, <laughs> but, but no, we, it was, we it know was, a few stories about Ash yeah, when he's drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we are not. Gonna it's a family them. show. Family I'm show. not going to mention the tree in Courtney Park. Well, <laughs> somebody said so. Sat in the office the other day. We had this exact discussion, and somebody said, I'm not going to tell you who it was, said, um, yeah, but the messages only come with alcohol and Liverpool playing. Yeah. So I said, Ash, yeah. what about this incident where you were, you know, and, and he went, yeah. okay, yeah, and what about this incident? And neither of them were involving, extra, uh, were involving yeah. alcohol and Liverpool. And, and the question I want is, what sort of pizza did you order? I think it was a pepperoni, I think. Oh, good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, and I and, do like pepperoni and did did Premier Inn charge you for uh, <laughs> falling, asleep. <laughs> falling asleep in the corridor? Was, they charge you for a room. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask him for a friend. <laughs> oh dear. No, but Ash, you've got to be really proud of, of this no, of this event today. <laughs> It's, it's been a really good event, mate. Yeah, honestly. it's been really good. Yeah. You know, was, we knew what was coming. Um, no, it's really good, mate. He's going to play the music again. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. So those two games have finished, so we'll have the results for them very soon. Yeah, and then we've got... Scotty Too Hotty's Scott out there again now. Scotty Too Hotty? Yeah. Oh. oh. Have you heard of the wrestler, jacket. Scotty Too Hotty? No? Okay. So the next games we've got on are Exeter City against Plymouth Warriors. That'll be a good game. And Tiverton against Pino. Um, yeah, again, potential to be a really good game as well. Um, 
to give a shout out to the referees today? I've done that. Did We've that already done that. Did we that did that ages ago. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a hot o day today out yeah. there on the pitch, and we all know what the heat is like coming off that rubber crumb. So yeah, they're doing a great job. I'll, I'll have a, I'll have a bottle of water. Oh, bottle of water. Yeah, what do you want with it? Bottle of water. Nothing else. No, no nothing no, else. I'm a teetotal, I am. Okay. Exeter City two, Tiverton nil in one of the games. I've never seen one of those bottles before. And Plymouth Warriors and Pino drew nil nil. He's got water in the way. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah, I see the bottle there. So you can work out while you're keeping hydrated. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. Or you can keep hydrated while you're working out, one of the things. Uncle Frizz. Uncle Frizz is here now, look. Mr. Frizzle. No. You are live no. on Facebook no. and YouTube, so no. please no. keep the language to <laughs> time, per time to put perfect everyone in Facebook minimum. jail. Are you enjoying today's disability event? Yeah, very much. Facebook oh, jail good. for everyone. And you're doing a great job. You must have done a few steps out there today. Yeah. Uh, Quite a few. Yeah, and, and you carry on like that, you'll be as fit as me. No, I'm fit as you. And well done for keeping that without any swear words in it. <laughs> oh, he's, he's coming up with the, with the um, results of the first game. So like we said just a minute ago, Exeter City beat Tiverton 2-0. And Plymouth Warriors and Pino Ability was a 0-0 draw. So Exeter City are looking like favourites to go through at the moment, but that all could change in the next se second lot of games. Did you just get a load of laughing in your ear then? I did, yeah. What yeah. was that? I, I assume that's Mr. Producer. Oh, is it? I'm assuming that's Mr. Producer. So you can tell the responsible one's gone, can't you? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. And, and, yeah, you good know. old Reese. And, and the thing is now that he's, he's there on his own, yeah, yeah, and and all hell could break yeah. loose now, and, and has by the sounds of it. The the posh, the posh goldsworthy has gone, and now we've got we've got the the rough well, diamond, the oik from Dartmouth, the oik from Dartmouth. Well, I was going to say the rough diamond, but you know, it's nice to have Jace here. It's nice to have Jace here. We'd be missing him. We missed him for one final. Jace, we missed you for one final, you know. Did, did it, Eddie that was where it went really well. No, okay. uh, you started packing up at that end already. Oh, yeah, because he he's Billy No Mates up there, isn't he, Mike? <laughs> Who, Jason? Jason, Billy yeah. No Mates. Yeah, he is up there, yeah. The oik, the oik from Dartmouth. The oik. Should we uh, plug our, we've got the walking football. No, you plug away, mate. Next Friday. You plug away. Um, so that's kicking off at six, quarter past six, I think it's next Friday. <laughs> Got one. Got your local team, Brixham Town, have entered it. Are they there? In are they? I've heard you might be playing. For them. No, I'm up in Bristol, mate. It's, so it's I, not a veterans. Yeah, one, sa mate. Sadly, oh, right, not yeah. a veterans yeah. walking football. Yeah, but um, that should be you. Got 19 teams for. A walking I should football be. If up. is the match being? Is it all being um, filmed? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I should be watching that from Bristol. I've got right, to go yeah. up with my family again for a few weeks. Yeah, uh, similar to today, similar format. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to miss this at Friday. Yeah, I won't be able to get a pass for that one. Uh, I mean, it's great that Joanne's here. Uh, sorry, Joanne, it's our wedding anniversary, but I need to go in there. Uh, no, yeah, I don't think I'd get away with that one. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, there's there's a limit. Do we know if Mrs. Bewley is live at all? Before I say anything? Well, I hope she's live. Hey, live. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't. I haven't, um, I haven't Good seen, grief. I haven't seen a pop up yet. Okay. Um, but <clears throat> do you want me to drop her a Facebook message? No, I just wanted to say, you know, what a wonderful lady she is. If she's listening. Oh. If not, I'd just like to point out who the boss is in the house. Yeah, yeah, and it's Which not is me, Lola, um, <laughs> Howard, Howard, Howard John. Shaddock, oh, Howard. Hello, Howard. Howard, welcome to the Hi, party, Howard. Mr. Yeah. Shaddock. Nice to uh, it was nice to catch up with you. Yeah, it was on yeah, Friday. Was, yeah, yeah. Um, another ex employee. And good luck with your new role. Absolutely. And I I will be in touch. So uh, yeah, H I'll uh, I'll drop him a line this week sometime. As as uh, uh, yeah after what we discussed on uh, on Friday night. Um, 
my oh Mia, uh, how can I watch the girls live video? Um, at the end of the broadcast, everything stays on YouTube and Facebook, um, and we do appreciate it. it's going to be a very long broadcast. Um, but the all they're all there. All the finals will be there at, in the order in the order that they were played. So if you look about two hours in. About um, 12 o'clock. It was about 12 o'clock. So, yeah, about two hours into the broadcast. That should get you somewhere near the uh, the girls' final. Okay. Um, obviously, we didn't, we weren't able to watch every game live. So it is only the final that is guaranteed to be on there. Um, but you may get some other clips of your games as well, other games. Mm -hmm. uh, Alan, Alan Lewis is tagging in the world. I mean, Alan was here. I don't know if he's still here. He's, gone now, he's, yeah. he's tagged in Sheena and Billy Venin. He always tags in the world, though, doesn't he? He he's, knows. He's, he knows the world, Alan. He's 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 um, tagged in Brian Johnson, who's on holiday. Hello, he's, Brian. Because he's, um, he's in Turkey on holiday. It's too hot. It's too hot. You, you, you're off to Turkey. Soon, I'm off to right? Turkey in five weeks. Uh, thanks for asking, Ash. Okay. Yeah, less than five weeks. Um, yeah, I'm taking Joanna Stephen as well. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, Oliver Oliver Chadwick, how did Northern oh, Lions on, just really on? Um, Northern Lions, did they they won they, one one game, didn't they? They they came if, came third in the group. Came third in the group, yes. Yeah, so yeah, just yeah, point, just, did, yeah. just missed out on the final. Yeah, yeah. So they need, needed one more point uh, to qualify in front of Pino. Yeah. Uh, Ash on Facebook and BT today. More details, more deals than Michael Owen. Uh, <laughs> oh dear! Ash. I think I'm gonna have to get an agent soon, anyway. Right? Yeah. yeah, I reckon you do. Ash is on. Ash is on BT Sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caught on camera. I, yeah, I'm just gonna discuss with him in a minute about becoming his manager and. Yeah, no, no fee for today, mate. <laughs> uh, no, no fee for this. Um, yeah, it's uh, well, we none of us get a fee. We just do it for the love. You know, we do it for the love of uh, of the football. Jason promised me te a tenner. What? Yeah, he said if you do the commentary today, Mark, you can have a tenner. Oh. Oh, and Exeter City have just scored on the far pitch. Oh, and Pino. Oh, Pino, he's headed oh, it in, lying down. Lying wow. down on the ground, and he headed the ball in the back of the net. Scored a That's the way to finish it. Unbelievable. So, so Ash is on BT Sport. Well, that's it, Mark. There's only one place for us to go then. Yeah. Yeah. Sky it is. Sky it is, yeah. <laughs> no. Or 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 there's always channel four for the Nations League. Yes. <coughs> but nobody's game. interested in the Nations League, no. are they? No. Well like not the even the players. To, to be, I was gonna say the players aren't, are Awful. they? <laughs> yeah. They're not interested, are they? You can see that. No. I did I, I, turned, I, I turned it over last night and started watching Titanic. I watched a bit of... Um, I turned it off, I must admit. I watched a bit of the, the last one they played, the Germany game. Yeah. And at one stage, one of the um, one of the commentators said, um, so Mo, um, what do you think of it? And they were talking about Michael Owen. And he went, so Mo. And I was like, oh my Lord. You know, that's what he's saying. Hi, Mark. What do you think <laughs> of this? Yeah, yeah. Mo. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I d didn't... Um, He's had some Didn't stick really, yeah. he, from his uh, Love, Not Love Island. Oh yes, he's uh, <laughs> he's getting a little bit of grief mm. on uh, on Love Island, and well, he is because of Love Island mm. and yeah. his daughter. No, none of us uh, watch Love Island, uh, mate. You're I all right. One mate. series a few years ago, and then I yeah, Ash watches it. Mate. I watched uh, last year's series because Lisa was watching it, but I watched the one oh. when. Um, Oh, was this Tommy Fury? Yeah, yeah. Watched that one. That was the year before, it wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I, I thought, we, uh, by the way, Ash, we've had a, a Harris shot today. Someone shot from there, managed to clear the fence. Really? And the uh, stand. Really? So, yeah. Unfortunately, it wasn't one of our brand new County Cup balls that they were kicking out of the ground. Like, you <laughs> were trying them out and, and kicked one out of the ground. <laughs> How I'm not quite sure. What just trying one out? Yeah, yeah, just bouncing it around out here when they when they first arrived, pumped them up, um, trying them out, and he literally volleyed one from from about 15 yards. I've yeah, I've cleared two sides of the ground now. I need two more sides to go. Yeah, only two sides <laughs> to go, mate. You've you've got the uh, you've got the shed end, and you've got the. Uh, have you not put one in the BMX track yet? No, I haven't. I'm no. surprised. I've no. seen you play. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Or Tiverton in Premier One. Yes. Prem I think they're Premier Two. Two. Premier Two. All yeah. oh, right. So they, both of these teams are in Premier Two yeah, then. That's okay. Right, yeah. I thought Pino were causing a shock then for a minute. No. Good ball. Oh, caught him on the nose. Yeah. He's all right. Yeah. Oh, good, good ball. ball. They're in. They're good. in. It's going to split. Yeah, yeah, that's a great ball too. Oh, goal, what, a, what goal. a goal. Yeah, that's yeah. A deserving of a goal. That, that was is. a two fantastic nil. goal. Yeah, 2-0. Yeah. I don't know what it's down the other end, that one. I think it's 1-0 to Exeter. Is it? I think. It's not. You'll probably find it's about 5-1 to Warriors. But, yeah. you know. Oh, there's oh another that's one. a great <laughs> strike down there Gary from Exeter <laughs> City. Yeah. Gary Carpenter, that was a great strike. Ash, I'm so glad you know the players' names. Because <laughs> we've just been saying number. Yeah, I think we'll have to try and do that next year, won't we? Try and get them to wear numbers on mm. to their names and get a bit well, I more know, commentary I do know out some of, of them from when I rough read, but... It's all... Oh, it's gone out for a go kick. The game down the bottom's finished. Yep. And they're all coming up to watch this one now. Somebody's gone down injured. Half time, I'm sorry. Half -time, uh, half -time, first half's it? finished, I should have said. Yeah, bottom mark. So then we've only got one round of group games and then the final. Yeah, and indeed. That's just done. Yeah. And then, and then we could just leave and Ash can pick it up, clear everything up. Yeah, and we um, can go and have something to eat. Unplug everything, put everything away. <laughs> He's going to do all the cameras as well for the, produ for the producer. Um, I thought we were going to leave Frizz to do that. Um, Calamity Harris. Um, yeah, I, I, to be fair though, I mean, uh, you might as well, because Jace wants new cameras, so you might as well drop Oh, them. no, he, <laughs> should, he did the wrong thing there. He saw Glory coming up then. and So that's, that's half-time? It is indeed. 2-0 to Pinner? Yeah, I think it is. What do you think of it, Nate? Uh, good game. Good, which one, this game? Yeah, this one. Ex uh, the the Tiverton game. I think it's been a decent game. Yeah, good finish from um, the player from who's blue. Pino. Yeah, Pino. Good finish from the old player there. Yeah, extra game looking good as well. Two good goals from extra against whoever that is. Been two good games to end. Almost end of day, isn't it? Yeah, they're, they're, you've you've noticed that the standards ramped up as the, as the day's gone along. The standards, there's less less fans, isn't there? That's the thing. We've got better standard, but the fans are decreased. Yeah, and that may be something that we look at for next year. That uh, maybe we we do the prem first, yeah. and uh, and and but that's uh, because it's the first the first year. Any credit for the event goes to Jace. Any um, any improvements is is down to Ash. So it's Ash's fault that this has happened. Um, but the credit goes to Jace for th for coming up with the formula. Well, it's been a good event. It has it's all gone all gone well. No issues of anyone. It's all been plain sailing. Yeah, and, uh, and do you know what? The good thing, and it's unusual, we're actually on time. I mean, we're, we're actually on time, which I don't think... Can you remember an, an event like this? Where I think we're ahead of time, aren't we? we yeah, kicked, I mean... We kicked off five minutes early. So. And we're not, you know, I, I don't know what's going on here, because when, when we have the league events, we're never on time. So, uh, no, it's, it's really good. Uh, all the volunteers have, have done well, done a great job. And uh, we go again. Three games. To th yeah. Should we do the presentations down here this time, if it's the last one? Yeah, yeah we yeah. might as well do them all on, on, the, on, the pitch. on the pitch. Well, you ask the ch chairman of the Cups committee. Yeah, that's fine. Wow. Well, technically Should speaking, this isn't one of our Cups. We were just um, shouldn't, we shouldn't were just sort of asked to help. Shouldn't, shouldn't the committee uh, make a decision? You're not able to make a decision like that, are you? Well, it is, yeah, but, you know, it's it's... It's more laid back, isn't it? Everybody's sort of uh, enjoying themselves. And although we're here helping, we are enjoying ourselves. Oh, great, Adder. Great save. It's all been very relaxed and a very nice day. Well, it's always relaxed when we're here. I don't know what you're on about. Oh, oh what a strike. strike from Pino. Yeah. That's the manager's son there, Niall Barefoot. Great strike. Oh, name dropping again. It was a good finish, yes. 3 0 to Pino. I think we may be seeing them in the final. 
Yeah, that's not. Uh, I say that's not bad uh, return, is it? No. Well, are we having a shot here from kickoff. It's Aaron. He'll have a shot, won't he? We've had a couple that have gone in today yeah. from uh, from kickoff. Oh, I've just had confirmation that Liverpool have confirmed a signing. Oh, good news. Oh. Going to take us to the title. Oh, they needed some help with that, <laughs> didn't they? <laughs> well, how much? How much? A hundred million pounds. So eighty million plus twenty million add-ons. Is that in euros or in pounds? No, so? pounds. pounds. Hundred oh, million euros? pounds for a person. Scary. No one's come and asked us if they've. We've got a watch here, Mike. Can you? Uh, someone's found that on the. Oh right, okay. So if uh, if you could put one mic down and pick up the other one. So Pino, another chance. Oh, just didn't Ladies quite fall. Missing a watch. It is currently up on the commentary balcony. Oh, we've got a balcony. The media centre. Oh, uh, the media, media suite. Center. Unbelievable strike there. It was a great strike, wasn't it? That was a great strike at them, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good strike. I'm surprised Mark didn't say you've got five minutes to claim it. <laughs> <laughs> That was a Rob Yates scoring for Pino yeah. there. That They've scored three really good goals this That game. was good, wasn't it? Yeah. No. no. Oh! Another chance, a good flick. Yeah, sun's come out now. We said earlier, didn't we, how, how nice it was that it was. Yeah, it's going to be hot for these guys out there now. Once that rubber yeah. starts warming up a bit. Uh, it was it was nice and uh, cool earlier. Now the sun's out. Yeah, Maria. I dare say your washing's dry. If Mr. Booley did that and poured that water over my leg. All right, there would be a first aider required. Oh, what a challenge. Oh, that was a great tackle. What a challenge that was. One of the best we've seen today, that. Yeah, there's been some great defending. Yes, there has all day today. The defence has been superb. It's been really, really good. Jason's... Chatting up Maria, Chatting yeah. Chatting up Maria, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Frizz is getting jealous. Frizz, the green-eyed monster. Did you notice that Maria went up there and spoke to spoke to Jason? Oh, oh well read. Most, most oh, they got it. Oh, oh crikey, that was close. Oh, Keep a watch that going flying by. Most, most Uncle Frizz is sat next to Jason. Maria went up deliberately and spoke to Jason. Yeah. Difficult conversation tonight over the dinner table. Oh, oh unlucky. I'm impressed that Ash knows all the players' names. She hope he does. <laughs> So Ash, you know, you know, we've uh, Ash, we we've had this discussion about how many how many games you've uh, you've refereed this year, and obviously at, at level four, um, and you got a bit of a reputation for a while in the office, didn't you, for um, <laughs> for some for for lots of uh, ye yellow and red cards. Is that correct? No, just they've all been warranted, though. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. 
Uh, and did we work it out? There was 160 yellows. I think it's about 150 yellows. 150 yellows. Oh, 13 sorry. reds, I think. Oh, okay. It's the most reds I've ever given in the season. Okay. So. Yeah. So, so how many players on the Sunday did you caution? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, uh, yeah. So what did you what do you think generally players this year? They're not, not bad if they they've yeah, got I, to. I think t- two like a couple have been from Dogso or um, yeah. don't know any obvious goal scoring. A couple, two or three from been d- double yellows. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think I think the Simbin rule has helped a little bit as well. Yeah, yeah, that's um, really I think it has. You, you, you're going to play, players are going to get a bit fiery from time to time, particularly if it, a game means a lot. I don't know for a certain position of the table, but yeah. on the whole, I think it's, it's, it's been okay, really. No, oh, good. And you're ready for next season? Just about. We've got the fitness, fitness test, test next week coming up. Yeah, yeah. So um, a bit more training for that, but yeah. That's yep. another pair of group matches done, mate. Yeah, we're down to the last two group games. Yeah. So yeah, fitness test. Ash, you you ready for it? I wouldn't say I'm hundred percent ready for it. Okay. Um, I, I do have a job for you this week. Um, a very, very important job. As you know, I've got the uh, timing gates in the in the office. Yeah. I need to set them up this week to make sure they work. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. So um, have a go at the sprints. Yeah, if you could have a go at the sprints, that would be much appreciated. Um, if he sprints like he did from that tree in Courtney Park, he Ooh. should be fantastically no, no, fast. Right. Now, do you know I've not heard about Courtney Park? I, I can't. I d- no, I'm, I can't do this. It's a family show. I'll, I'll, okay. for a I'll tell you about it afterwards. Okay. Or, or I can just rip him tomorrow in work. So yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah, I'll doesn't let you matter. know after the commentary's finished. Okay. And we're, we're not Needless live. to say, that there's some rudities involved. Okay. So oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. By Mrs. Kemp. Mrs. Kemp talked the police officer around. That's all I'm saying. Mrs. Kemp. Right, Exeter City 2, Plymouth Warriors 0, and Tiverton 0, Pinhoe 4. Wow, there you go. So uh, we've we've got the last lot of results, or the next lot of results. That makes the uh, league, how does that look, make the league look, Ash? So Exeter City have won 2, okay. Pinhoe have won 1 and drawn 1. Tiverton nil, Pinot four, and Exeter City two, Plymouth Warriors nil. So that means Exeter City are on six points, mm-hmm. Pinot are on four points, Plymouth Warriors are on one point. Yep. So Plymouth Warriors need to beat Tiverton, mm-hmm. and then uh, and hope Exeter City beat Pinot for it to come down to goal difference. Okay. So so. Um, Pin out, a, a draw in Exeter City and Pin out sees them through. Now the results are on the uh, on the screen or have been on screen, and the lead table is up there now. <coughs> uh, just going back to the, the comments on Facebook, one from Bobby Upham, love playing today, uh, League and Cup winners. Plus home was buzzing, thanks to Beth for scoring two in the final. So Shami, uh, and Defo our player of the day, Shami captain here. Uh, thanks for the refs and support. And Devon FA for today and the past few years. So, well, yeah, very and nice. No, no, Co- that coming from a player. At, yeah, Bobby was Excellent. at Tavi, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. at Tavi. So, uh, yeah. Um, and Alan, Alan Lewis has got a lot to answer for. Because he said to me one day, um, why don't you come and referee this event? Because it'll be really good. That was, God, about 10 years ago now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he hadn't, he hadn't stopped. And he ain't got any better. No, I haven't got any better. <laughs> although, although, have you seen? You've seen the video, haven't you? The the one that was done out here, and every time it starts, it's me. Yes. It's yeah. me there. Yes. Really. See, see, that's it. <laughs> Mr. Mister Hayward, Mr. I didn't see Mister Hayward in any of the videos. Ash, you were in. They it. did not have you a wide angle interview. lens. Mate. You were interviewed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Mister Bully. That was, I'll tell you what, that was cutting. <laughs> yeah, nice, check nice out there. any of these videos, go to Devon Affairs YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, YouTube yeah. channels. Yeah. Oh, because disability and then, yeah. Well, I did that search on, on YouTube and found that video of you lot when you went to do your, that park run or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. And it was a bit bigger than the park run, but yeah. <laughs> and, and, and to be fair, most of you look, most of you look about 12. Yeah. There was a you, Chris, Howard, 
Matt, Matt Corey, Matt Eddie. Yeah, Matt Eddie, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. You all look about twelve. I thought I thought it was a school uh, <laughs> school team as opposed to a, a team of. Uh, so Club Club Plymouth have got to win this game in front of us. Club Plymouth, Club Plymouth, Plymouth Warriors. Plymouth, Plymouth, Plymouth Warriors, Warriors yeah. and then it's down to what Exeter do. I do believe. Yes. Yeah. yeah well, Pin, well, Pino have got a plus four goal difference, and Plymouth Warriors have got a minus minus two. So they've got to have a turn around of six then, haven't they? Minus two goal difference. So it would be a big goal swing, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. A little bit, very unlikely. So there's potential to have a Prem 1 and the Prem 2 final. Yeah, both of the Prem 1 and 2 league winners could be in the final. Yeah, that'll They're be playing good. each other at the minute. Yeah. Ooh. In the final group games. That's the one on the far side, isn't it? That's, yeah, that's I just the one saw that. You should have had, you should have had a bit of needle in that game. Yeah, we've um, that game's got a little bit of history, isn't it? Oh, has it? No, that they have not played, not 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 those two, but no. the, those two clubs. Yeah, got a little bit of history. Well, it's an Exeter derby, isn't it? Oh, that yeah. was a chance there for the Plymouth Warriors against Plymouth some chances. Warriors. Yeah, to get the goal difference back. Um, Paul Baldwin, go and grab him. Do an interview with Paul. New I'll chairman. say goodbye, guys. Now uh, yeah. I'll go and get Paul for an Thanks, Ash. Or, Ash. or Ash, what's uh, Paul's wife? Uh, Emma Baldwin. Emma, because she's on the committee now as well, isn't she? Yeah. So uh, grab one of them, and we'll have a we'll have an interview. Hiya, Paul. How are you enjoying today? Loving it. Good, good, good. Um, congratulations on your new role in the, Absolutely. the, the league as well. Yeah. I haven't got it yet. We've still <laughs> got an ATM to go yet. <laughs> We're no, trying to get out of it now, are you? <laughs> not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you're, you're involved with Exeter Tigers. Exmouth Tigers. Exmouth Tigers, sorry, yeah. Um, not here today, but what a, what a fantastic day it's been. It's been absolutely cracking since... First ball that was kicked at, uh, when was it? Nine o'clock? Ten, Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, been, it's not been bad, has it? It's, uh, Stand has been really good, and it's, yeah. it's, it's good to see all the players, whether oh. they win, losing, whatever, oh, enjoying themselves. Enough. Big smile on their faces. Yeah, that's, yes, that's, that's what that we've had up here as yeah, well. We've, it's been we, great. We've, we've commented on that, on that all the time, that actually every player seems to have smiled as they've come off the pitch, and it's been really, really good. Uh, lots of respect as well between the players, the officials, and you know everyone. It's been it's been really good. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's been good. In, in fact, the whole atmosphere, even with the spectators around, and that encouragement, and that has been brilliant today. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it has been. It's been a cracking day from from our point of view, and yeah, and obviously you're enjoying refereeing it. Yeah, enjoying putting the black shirt on. Good, good. Yeah, it's nice to nice to have someone involved in a club, and, and this is how I can pay you back for you know everything that you do for us, and you know from from the league and and from everyone else. So yeah, it's great that we can have people that are, that know the game inside, and, and you know. To, yeah, well, to I'm actually hopefully I should know it. I've been in and around football for best part of forty years now. So. Yeah, and and that's what you know. It's it's great that. You've got that inside knowledge of the the um, disability football, and it's great that you can use that because it helps. It's, this isn't mainstream football, and it's a different way of refereeing it, isn't it? Oh, it's totally different. Um, yeah, the concepts of the game, the rules are the, the same, but the way that they're done and that, and it's ooh, nearly a goal then. Um, yeah, it, it's great, and it's way that I think it was brilliant as well. Is you got some good referees here that are, are very adaptable as well that. They're play, playing one day in an 11 side match and then uh, the next day coming up to something like this where it's not only five a side, but it's also ability counts as well. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good to yeah. see it. And, and, and to be fair, that's what the referees like. They like the, you know, it, it's serious, but not too serious. And they love to be able to give something back to Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. To it, it's, uh, I look at these as fun as well. 
that, that they're an enjoyment to come down. Yes, it's serious, you're refing. Yes, you're serious, you've got to make the right des- decisions, but it's fun. Yeah. Um, and that's the main thing. So it's not just fun for the players, it's also for the officials around. Yeah, um, they always have a bit of banter, as you've noticed. <coughs> You know, you've you, you've seen it. Well, you saw us at uh, at Braunton, didn't you? So uh, you know what it's like. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, when you got the likes of Fred, that's been refereeing for about three hundred years now. Yeah. Um, he's just about got used to the rules now, so he's doing well. And it's it's great. It's it's good to see. Yeah. No, it's it's all good anyway. Thank you for that. Um, you're off to do the uh, assistant referee in the final, I believe. I believe I am. Yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah, I must have done something right then. Yeah, there sounds like it. See? Thank you. I'm going to sit down right. for five. Yeah, cheers, Paul. Yeah, well done, Paul. Thank you. There you go, another another happy customer. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. And his wife's there now as well. Yeah. So. Oh, and a go oh, for what a go. Yeah, one so, nil. So, Emma, Emma, you know, he has been here all day, Emma. I can promise you that. Yeah, I could, I'm talking to you. Yeah, I can promise you he's been here all day. He's been really good. Yeah. He hasn't been... Like, he hasn't been down the pub or anything like that. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, well, there'll be one or two well-deserved beers this afternoon. I'm I'm going teetotal after Friday night. I'm going teetotal. I'm going teetotal because next on holiday. Yeah. Oh, Friday. Oh, Friday holiday. Oh. Friday holiday. I only dream about holidays at the moment. Uh, Mark Walker's off on Thursday. Yeah, I know. Well, he's always off. He's isn't he? always off. Yeah. Oh, look out! Oh, oh, the big table's on its way on. The God. Frizzmeister. Oh my God, he's multitasking. He's carrying a table and the cup. Yeah. What's Jace doing up there? He's asleep, isn't he? He's asleep. Yeah. Yeah. He's Jason's googling three-legged gazelle. <laughs> oh dear. So, so Mark, you heard that. I mean, obviously, yeah. The, the, the yeah. Viewers what Jason th- but saying he's googling but how to kill a work colleague without so getting detected. If, so, if any of us aren't in tomorrow or disappear, Which be any of us. I'm not a. Well, uh, well, so it's no, any of you. Yeah. So that's why. I'm, so yeah. If any of us, you know the staff that are here. Oh right. Okay. Disappear. Yeah. yeah. Um. No, we've got it live. Can you just record the time? It's 20 to 4. 20 to 4 on a right. Sunday on a afternoon. Sunday. Well, yeah. we've got it live on video. Yeah. Or 20 oh, to yeah, 3. Oh, yeah, 20 to 3. Yeah, yeah or yeah. 20 to 3. Been here a long time. Yeah, well, it seems Been like a long, a long time. time. Um, yeah, so, so now, you know, Vladimir Hayward has, yeah. uh, has decided what uh, what's going to happen. So, uh, yeah. Any other staff disappear? So, just... Going back to football for a minute, I think Shall we? Plymouth Club Plymouth are one nil Warriors. up. Plymouth Warriors, sorry, are one nil up against Tiverton. But there's no nil in the uh, other game. Yeah, so it's looking more likely that that game down there is going to be the final, a, a final yeah. as well. Yeah, indeed. Uh, going on the comments, Tracy Harvey Upham, brilliant day in weather. Weather was lush. Good luck to the rest of the teams today. Yeah, thank you, Thanks, Tracy. Tracy. It was good to see you. Um, Chloe Palmer, thank you for today. So we've had lots of people saying thank you. Yeah, today. that's that's makes it all worthwhile for especially for volunteers. Yeah, Jason, Jason, thank you for today. I've got to say it because he's he's you know you're afraid for your life now, aren't well, you? Oh no, he's he's um you know he's he's up there on his own. I mean it's it's bad enough he's you know he's Billy No Mates up there, so we've got to say thank you to him, haven't we? Yeah, poor boy's all on his own. Look. It's that bad that re- he's that bad that Reese has had to leave him. Yeah, I know. You yeah. know, he's been abandoned by by the producer. You know, we've and got what a job Reese did! Didn't oh, he's fantastic, hey, isn't oh, he? Yeah, it's fantastic. And, and you wouldn't believe that he's as old as he is. You know? No, absolutely. Oh, hit the post! Hit the post! Yeah. He's given yeah. a go kick, so it was definitely yeah, so, in uh, when he played the ball. You know, you've got that. You've got Reese with all that, or n- not that experience. You've got Jason with the experience. Yeah, and and well, give me Reese any day. V- Vladimir is considering now his next option. Uh, n- I, I, is it one of our? Is it one of our new cup final balls they're using? It's, oh, that's, a no. cup, that's one of last year's. 
It's one of last year's cup final balls, I think. I don't know where the, uh, the posh balls have gone. So at the moment, Plymouth need Pino to lose 5 0, don't they? Yes. I don't think that's going to happen. No. I think it's still nil nil. I think it's nil nil in that, uh, that one. Oh, yeah. hello. Hello, that was, oh, a, no. that was a shot and a half, <laughs> yeah. wasn't it? Brave to go for it. Yeah. Well, if you don't shoot, don't win. Plymouth are on a corner now, but easily oh, cleared okay, for yeah. Tiverton. Oh. And another throw in. Well, balls in the stand. Ash, Ash there, warming up, warming up for his fitness test next week. Good tackles by the defence for Tiverton, yeah. yeah. Yeah, was a good tackle. He's going to hit it. Oh, Plymouth just can't get that ball no. in the net, can they? No, couldn't get his foot. Trying too around. hard, maybe. He's going to hit it from that. there. Uh, oh, that's what Dragged well. it wide. Yeah. I think they know one nil's not going to be anywhere no. near good enough. Ursula's still here. She keeps looking around. Yeah. Ursula's still here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and somebody scored. Yeah, Exeter have scored. Exeter have scored. That makes it interesting, it more yeah. interesting, I should say. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh that, that was, was a, a big bad challenge, one, wasn't it? That yeah, was he's okay. Challenge. He's getting up, yeah. not even complaining. Look, no. straight on with it. No. That's not to say he's going to get his own back, but. No. That's a good ball. Oh, good oh save. and the keeper saved that so one as well. Nate, are you on? Uh, are you doing camera for the last final? Yeah, might as well. Yeah, yeah, you've done really well, mate. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, Jace. Jace is just in your ear. You know what he's like, mate. You haven't got the headphones on, so you all right? You know, you just some just sometimes you can't get rid of him. You know, you, you know when you're you know when you're at home. And and you you're sort of being towed off or being nagged. You imagine having that in your ear five hours a day, or worse than that, eight hours a day when you're working here all day. You know, it's it's just oh, all the time, all the time. Now, uh, to be fair, I, I I mean when I when I first started, Jace was um, it, it, well he was he was the influence why I. Sort of put in for the job. Yeah. See, the trouble is, Rich, uh, Rich. When I was there, I was I was in charge in that office. Yeah, but you were only in charge when Jason told you you could be in charge. No, because I was the senior man. That's true. You, you were the only one in there. No, I had Abby. Abby was in you, there as you, well. You were the only one in there, and you could only be in charge when you were told something. Uh, Abby <laughs> was in there, but she was too busy laughing all the time and getting towed off. For yeah. It. Oh, just yeah. Wide. They're trying too um, hard now, aren't they? And then, and then, obviously, you had Jason join you. Yeah. And you had the uh, Great Wall of Coach Road. Yeah, we did. Uh, that was put up to stop you from killing him. Yeah. It yeah. Was, it was like it was like uh, Putin's putting up. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's in. Oh, two nil. That puts them, I think, on goal difference of naught. zero. Yes. And Pluno, I believe, on a goal zero of th goal difference of three at the moment. Okay. We got Mr. Walker with us now. Mr. Walker. Yeah, yeah, you can come and commentate for the final, no oh, problem. Does he have to? Yeah, we're out, out of mics. Now you're more than welcome, Mark. Great tackle. Yeah, great tackle indeed. Shoot! Oh, oh another great tackle. Yeah. So there's a bit of a bit of a lull in this game at the moment. Yes, there is. I don't know where yeah. the ball's. Oh, the ball's, the ball's gone down behind the far goal. Yeah. So really, Pino need another three, don't they? Yeah. Chance. Oh. oh. What happens if they both got the same goal difference? It's down to the cups committee. They haven't anyway, but that would be down no. to the cups committee. I just dodgy, dodgy right. chairman. Oh, two nil, two nil to Exeter City. Oh, that makes it more interesting. We still got to go another two. So club, club Plymouth forgot to score twice. Yeah. Warriors. 
That's Plymouth Warriors. Oh, I keep saying Club Plymouth, don't I? Yes, you do. Yeah, and that's, I keep that's why I'm sacked for the final. And I keep telling you it's, and that's it, it's all over. Yep, so we think Pino versus Exeter City in the final. Pino could actually get their fourth cup. Yeah, that's uh, that's not bad for a, a new team. And it? I'm gonna I'm going to vacate my seat mm. and let Mr. Walker take. Well, that's over right for because we, because we can. Um, if I just um, shift along a bit. Oh, he's um, coming your no, side. No, no, he's cause, come no, because that that mic's not uh, not working properly, is it? So, if you give him that one, and um, and those, if they'll stretch that far. Yes, I think they will. Just about. Don't don't pull them too hard. Yeah. No. Let me yeah. Right, final results are on the screen. It was Exeter two Pinhill nil. And Tiver and Nil Plymouth Warriors two. The league table gives you Exeter City played 3 1 3. Pinho. Pinho played 3 1 1, drawn 1, lost 1. Goal difference of plus 2. Plymouth Warriors. 1 1, drawn 1, lost 1. Of goal difference of 0. So Pinho go through on goal difference. Final set of results today. Exeter City beat Pino 2 0. And Club, uh, Plymouth Warriors beat Tiverton 2 0. Which means the final will be between Exeter City and Pinho. And that will be taking place in a few minutes on the pitch directly in front of the grandstand. Three o'clock kickoff. With a three o'clock kickoff. Three o'clock ish. And uh, I see Stephen Brearley's young lady is still with us here watching the games. Yeah, Ursula. Ursula needs to come up and talk to us. And Stephen, we still haven't heard from you about a ring in a box to be given to Ursula. No, no, I, I'm sure he's done it. I'm sure he's done it, you know. Well, she said no, didn't she? Yeah, but was she saying no to us or Stephen? I don't know. Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to slide along there, Mark? Yeah. Um, that may stop the crackling. The crackling a little bit, yeah. Just a reminder that a watch has been found and handed in to us up here at the uh, commentary desk. Chase, is that, is that okay for you? If you've lost a watch, please come up the, to uh, here graphic. at the top of the grandstand. Just describe what watch it is and yeah. we will let you be reunited with it. So, we're, yeah, we're down to one game. Who's going to win it then? Mark. I think it's going to be um, Exeter City by the odd goal. Odd goal in how many? Three, I say. Odd goal in three. Yeah. Okay. okay. So uh, I don't know how many viewers we've got on Facebook and uh, YouTube at the moment. If anyone stayed on, um, let us know what you think it's going to be. Um, you know, just give us a prediction, quick prediction of what we're going to get. How far did we get with the comments? Uh, we got as far as that one there. So we did that one. Right, so Charlotte Beer yeah. has kindly said, great day today up the chamois. So we know who she played for. Yeah, chamois. And John Large says, great day for chamois today. The League and Cup final, we won the double up the sham. There you go, you see so yeah, lots and lots of people saying thank you for today. Um, but, but it's been it's been great, isn't it? What a what a great day. Brought brought to you, brought to you by Elevate, the player development app, 
and uh, Haywood TV. Oh, it's called Haywood TV now, Haywood, is it? Well, it was, it was Red Card Media. I don't know what it is. And yeah. um, uh, and obviously, um, Allwood, Allwood Timber. So now it's got a name like that. Is the boss man going to start paying money out? Oh, well, he's got, uh, uh, did I hear him say? Yeah, you can Mark, all. Uh, you Mark can, Walker's here. He's waiting to get paid. Did did I hear him say? Um, you can all have a great contract, huge, big five-year contract. I'm sure well, that's I'm what sure I heard Mr. Sure did say that. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure that's one. Anyway, of I'm going to have a quick chat with Mark now before we start. Mark, you've refereed quite a few games today. Enjoy it. Very much so. Can you hear me? Okay. Oh, can we? Can we hear? Can we? Can we hear Mark? Is he turn the mic on? No, no. Should try we start it. again? Ah. That's yes, better. So, Mark, you, so, re you so we'll try again. We'll, you refereed. Uh, you've refereed quite a few games today in the heat out there. Yes, it's been a very enjoyable day out there again today, as it always is. Um, the sun is shining. The heat. It is very warm out there, um, and I'm really looking forward to this final, which I think will be a very, very good game. We've got a celebrity referee and Mr. Loader. Oh uh, goodness me! Um, so l let's hope he can keep up with play. <laughs> oh, hang on! No, no, he's 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 passed the flag on. Oh. Yes. Well, I was very disappointed that I never had the email. Um, but young Alex Bunn dropped out last night. And out of um, 400 referees, I seem to be selected. So, um, even though I was meant to be coming down on the media. So I'm not, not quite sure how that happened, Richard Mason. Um, but at least I'm here. Good. And we're pleased you are, Mark. So why is Mr. Loader taking up the flag rather than the middle? Is he suffering from an injury? Well, if he is, then surely you'd be better off out there. Uh, you yeah, know, you fishing. would have thought so, wouldn't you? Is he finding it hard going in the heat? Well, yeah. But it's more, to be fair, he could probably get away with not running too much as a referee, but the, the assistants have got to keep up all the time, haven't they? Well, the assistants say he'll probably do a little bit more running. Yeah, I reckon so. so, so I reckon so, he will. So we reckon that Paul's referee in this one, do we? Okay. Well, I'm not sure. They've, they've changed flags again in they've the changed, ball. They've changed again, yeah. I reckon they're going to change back, you know. And um, Morris Beckenham? No, not, no, not Morris. Down. Morris. He had uh, to go, did he? Yeah, Morris wasn't here for this, for this, uh, for the Premiership. Oh, it looks like Paul. Yeah, Paul Baldwin in the middle. Wow. Will Mr. Loder hold the flag in the correct hand? All oh, right. So in a few minutes, the final of. So yeah, so uh, yeah, Mark, um, Dave refereed the league game that's just finished. Oh, did he? Yeah. So uh, that's why he's not. Uh, he's not. Or is he? I don't know. I don't. I ain't got a clue what's going on. Hang on, hang on. The flags have changed hands again. Changed, changed hands again. And Mr. Loader has now got the ball again. Oh. I reckon he's going to. I reckon he's going to referee this. You know. And he's also got the spare ball. Oh, hang on, they're changing the Hang on. Now they're changing the round again. He's the one in the black. So Nick's referee in it. So Nick is the referee after changing the flags half a dozen times. Is Mr. Loader got an injury? Oh, I reckon he's had too much cake. I think he's smiling. I just saw him eating a couple of burgers and chips. A couple of burgers? Yes. A couple of burgers? Burgers and chips. Where's his coffee? Because normally he has coffee on the, on the sideline, doesn't he? Mr. Loder's saying that he should have been refereeing this final, but he, because he did the semi-final, he's going to do the line now. Yeah, but he good. didn't say that he's so tired he can't do it. Well, he's going to have to run a lot more on that line. I reckon. We will see. 
But this should be a very good game. Exeter City have got a very good side. I'm going 4 0 to Exeter City. 4 0? 4 0. So you're saying my 2 1's too close, Mark? Yes. I'm going 2 0. 2 0, Rich? Two what nil. about. Mate, uh, what are you going for score? 0 0 nil, 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 penalties, Pinot win. And Jason says 1 0, Pinot. Sorry, did we, did we ask Jason? No, he but just, he's the producer. He's allowed to tell us. us. Yeah, and we've got, we've got to write it. Yeah. So the linesmen are in place, the referee's in place. Dave Roach, who's doing the camera work today, is in place. Have you banned him again, Jason Hayward? I'm okay. Oh, Mark's back. Oh, 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 oh. I'm back. Oh, James, Richard's back. You were in Facebook jail again, weren't you? And a good ball by Pinhole. Yeah, and the goalkeeper just kept it in play. Yeah, he did indeed. Playing out from the back. Nice to see. Yeah. We've had a lot of that today, Mark. We have, Some we have. Decent yeah. football out of the back. Excellent football all day. From the ladies to league. One and two to the yeah. Intermediate Championship and now obviously the yeah. Premiership. It's been brilliant. And you, you haven't noticed or you may have noticed we've been interviewing the winning team and their coach. One of the players from the winning team and a coach right. for each one. And they've all said the same thing. What a lovely day they've had. How sporting it's been. We've put on a good Oh, he's in, he's in, he's oh, in, he's in. goal. What a goal. Good bit of poaching there right on, right on the goal. 1-0 to City. Next to City. And that's come from one of their defenders. You stood on the wire, Rich. I don't know if you. So one nil, Exeter City. One two, one two, one two. Now it's working. Better. Yeah, we're back. Um, back, back go to uh, go <laughs> goal kick. Yeah, and they, they all said what a great day they've yeah. had, Mark, which is always a nice uh, thing to say. Fantastic day. It's been a fantastic season yeah. on the Abilities Counts League. Um, yeah. Looking forward to next season. It's going from strength to strength each year. And so it's, it's nice to see something like the, the women's finalist winners, uh, the young lady, she wasn't going to let go of that cup when oh, she came up to spoke to us, Harriet, yeah. yeah. L such a well-spoken young lady and she was thrilled to bits that she'd won that cup I'm sure she was they yeah. played very very well they did Mark are you the council member for the Ability Council I am the council oh, right. member for the Abilities Council League on yeah. the FA oh, so Council thought, hang you, on there's yeah. a chance oh, oh, just oh wide. another one again yeah um so in your role, you're sort of the go-between between the league and the county, aren't you? I certainly am. Yeah, I certainly so. am. And that's an, it is an important role for, for every league. Well, it the, certainly the, is, the to council. be represented on the council. Yeah. And I will do my best for the league. Which is what you're there for. Have you, have you noticed that bloke over the far side, like the one, the one in blue, you know, just stood there? Oh, well, Mr. Harris. Trigger. Trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just stood there wondering, wondering what's going on. Goal saved by the keeper. Yeah, he read save. that I well. think he's going to release it quickly. Yeah. No. Good bit of defending. Well good defending. Oh, great. Oh, turn. what skill. He's going to hit it. Great goal. shot as well. Oh, what a goal. 2 0. Goal. Tremendous skill there. Uh, that started out here. Yeah. On this near touchline, that little bit of skill. Uh, turned the defender inside out, upside down, and uh, then put him left footed, bottom corner, 2 0. Shot, no. Yes, number 61 for Exeter is an excellent player. Yeah, um, that, was a, that was a great uh, great bit of skill, great turn, great finish. So, 2 0 after four minutes. Yeah, Pino have got to regroup now and concentrate for a minute or two and get themselves going. Yeah. Very comfortable on the ball, that number 61. Mm -hmm. Here he goes again. Here he goes again. He's going to hit it again. Oh. oh, good tackle. Gone oh. again. Good pass, good pass. Oh. Oh. 
cleared right through to the keeper. He was there trying to get the ball on his right foot, wasn't he? Yeah, he, he was, yeah. yeah. So he could take that shot. Uh, all the time he's calling for his He's through, he's through. He's oh, he's in. Oh. Well played, the keeper. Well yeah. done, keeper. Playing the advantage, is he? He's going to oh, bring back. He's going to bring it back. He was unlucky there. Good advantage played, though. Yeah, good. He tried it, and then yeah. as soon as he blew, Absolutely. it goes through to a to a player. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. This number 10 don't want to get in the way, does he? I don't <laughs> think I would either, to be honest. <laughs> he was stood there. He was trying to make himself... Walls normally make, try to make himself as big as they can. Yeah. Um, he, he didn't want to... Uh, he didn't want to do that. Good touch. Mr. Loader was looking up then as if he wanted to be discussed. He does, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, he was smiling there. Look. Yeah, playing to the camera. Mm. He's meant to be buying me a pint after. Oh, well, you'd be Is lucky, he? wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he's bought his, well. his card today. I mean... Does that mean he's buying me a pint as well, then? Hang on, which hand's he, which way's oh. he flagging? Look, it's either right hand, left hand. Oh, it's, he it's must like have good hearing, you know. Yes, he yeah. did, yeah. I mean, he, uh, Dave could get a job with British Rail, I think. Well, I'll, 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 mate, I'm surprised the, air, the uh, airplanes haven't landed. Oh. You know, bring him in. That's a good ball. That's a good ball. It's a chance, Very mate. good ball. Oh, oh, straight at the keeper. Just didn't quite catch it, did he? No, well, the keeper did. No, the, the player. As he hit it, it didn't no. quite hit it. Didn't expect it. Yeah, it didn't quite bounce up that, no. that little bit extra. Can they get one back before? Because the they need one. Oh, oh, oh hello. Come on. hello! <laughs> I think he knew he did wrong there as soon as he did. I think the momentum took him forward and his hands were up. But uh, yeah, it was a sort of protect myself and push him at the same time, wasn't it? Yeah, half time. Half time. So Pino have got to come back from this very quickly. So, halfway to my prediction, I yes, said 4-0. Yeah, I did. You did. Yeah. I, I'm sort of almost there with 2-1, so, you know. But been a very good first half. Yeah, um, excellent yes, football. Yeah. Exeter trying to play the ball around like all teams today, like we said, trying to play football the right way, which is good to see. All the games have been very sporting today, Mark. There's been nothing at all in it with... Well, the games that I refereed, there's been no malice whatsoever. No, um, that's what we... And it's been played in a great spirit, as it always has. It's, I yeah. mean, as a referee, this is always the best day out refing on, yeah. on, on abilities counts. And uh, I go home with a smile on my face, happy. All the players do, and that is what it's all about. They've had a good day out and they've enjoyed it. Yeah, and, absolutely. And that's what Mark, like Mark, that's exactly what Paul said earlier. Yes, it was, yeah. That all the yeah. referees enjoy it that yeah. much. And, and the referees are, are tested quite well in this premiership, aren't they? Well, they are. They are. It, you know, at times it can be a very difficult league to ref on. Um, um, there's some very, very, very good players. Yeah. And, uh, yes, it's... Um, You've got to understand the players. You have, yeah. Um, they, they've more played than, to a, more than normal. It's a very high standard of football they play. It is, yeah. And it's, you know, that's why they're in the final. Absolutely. Um, it's good to see Pinhole because they haven't been running that long, you know, as a club, I think, and they've now established quite a few sides. And uh, um, how many finals have they been in today? This is the. This this is the Fourth. This is all of them, isn't it? No, they didn't. They went in the second one, where they don't think. No, no, because the second one was Shammy against that, yeah. Waldron. Yeah, that's yeah. the game that's I refereed. Right. Yes, that's right. All the others, they've had a team in the final, which, which is, is a, a feat in itself. It's it is, yeah. It's so they've is. actually won four. Yeah, every final they've yeah. been in, they've won. Yeah. So uh, here we go. Last six minutes. Oh. Well read by that number yes. forty-nine. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> nuts. Come through. Is he going to... Oh, that's, oh, that's a free kick. Oh. That's well. a free kick. High boot. Mm. Yeah, that could have caused some damage if it had connected. Is it, yeah, I was going to say. thought he'd given it that way. Yes, yeah. That's <laughs>
You could see he was he was lining up to do that. Yeah, he? yeah. Oh, there's no malice in it, was there? No. But, oh, just caught that player late. Yeah. Again, it was a bit of a high boot, wasn't it? But yeah, yeah. Uh, something that they because they don't play on 3G all the time, Mark. It's they get caught out by the bounce, don't they? They do, they do. I, don't, I think with uh, the heat on it as well today, it's, yeah. uh, it does give that extra bounce. And again, the opposing player went straight up to him and made sure he was okay. It's good chance, good chance. Oh, no good corner. Yeah. Saving tackle by the defender. Yeah, indeed. It is surprising how much heat's out there actually today. It yes. comes off that rubber, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Remember the day we we came up here, Mark, just after it opened, and it was baking hot. Wasn't yes, it? it was. And we we said that then. Yeah, it was. Uh, the first thing we could feel was the the heat of the uh, f coming up from the pitch. But you're guaranteed a day of football now. Yeah, whether it's rain, snow, or sunshine. Unless yeah, you get a lot of snow, of course. Yeah, I don't know what it'd be like in snow, but no. got time. Player free on that side. Oh. Yeah, good ball. Oh. oh, unlucky. Yeah, he got his head to that well. And once again, the sportiness comes out in the team. Can Can Pino get a get a quick go back? They need to get one. They now, need to don't get they? one straight yeah. away, don't they? Oh, well intercepted. Well played, well defended. Yeah. Foot race. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh. What, what a battle that was. Yeah, they wasn't went it through. Just yeah, and it just, he got there first and just hit the post. So this, this defence of Exeter hasn't let many goes in at all, if, all, if any. I can't no. remember... Oh, he's well through. Well played. Ooh, oh, well played. Oh, he's got to be. Got to be. Got to be. Yeah, yes, they is. pulled one back. Twenty-five. Good skills. Good skills. And there's there you go. There's Three minutes to go. And there's Mr. Booley's scoreline. My scoreline yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. It's put Pino in with a chance now, though, hasn't it? It has. Yeah. yeah. So they'll, have, they'll have their heads up. Interesting last couple of minutes then. Can Exeter hold on or? Uh, Increase their uh, good um, tackle. Can Pino get right back into it? Bit of panic now in the action. Yes, of the yeah, yeah, a little just, bit. Just to get rid of the ball, get it out, and uh, good tackle. Had a collision of players there. Yeah. No oh, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, no, you're not getting. You're not getting a penalty for that. No. <clears throat> Good try. Have we actually had any penalties awarded during the games? I mm, I don't think we have. None I don't in, think so. None in my games. Um, no. But I don't think there has been. I no. don't remember seeing one. No, I don't no. think there have been. We've had no cards today, no cautions. Oh. oh We've still no. got two minutes to go. No. We've still got two minutes to go. Mark, remember you said about the cup finals when we had no red cards? Yeah. What happened? Yes, yeah, as last soon game. As, as soon as I said it. Yeah. Oh! Good strike. As soon as I said that, that game, red card. red card. But generally during the Premiership this season, it's been Bailey Walker that's been issuing the red cards. Oh, that's it. Well, yes, yeah, yeah. We, we, we know the problem referees are then, don't we? Is there something, to do, something about the name. Well, it must be. Ball in, cleared away. Is he gonna? Oh, thought he was gonna hit that first time. Yeah, so did I. Nice, nice That's build up. Nice build up. Nice build up. Nice 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 up. Oh, oh, and he hit the post. Hit the outside of the post. Excellent play. That would have been good football for any team we've yeah. seen up here this year, wouldn't it? That would have, yeah. That would have been coming close to uh, goal of the uh, cup finals. Yeah, yeah. 
So City seemed to, Exeter City oh, seemed to be taking ball. on the attack as the best form of defence. Yeah. Idea. Oh, oh kept well to well. win that back, yeah. Possession football at its best so far. Mm. Oh, no. Put the mockers on that. Wins it back. If Pino can get this up now quickly, actually, that, you know, actually could be in a bit of trouble. What, a one on one? Yeah. Yeah. That's a great tackle. That's a fantastic tackle. And then overruns it out for a go kick. Yeah, last, that has got to be the last few seconds. He's going to pump that ball up there. A substitution from Pinho as well. Yeah. Yeah, Crush legs for the last couple of seconds. There you go. There you go. Exeter City win the All match. Over. And who well got 2 1? Well done to Exeter City. Mr. Booley, well done on yeah. the correct score. Another excellent final. It was a good final. They're mm. more being good yeah, finals. Very good football. And it just uh, polishes off what's been a fantastic day. For everyone. Yeah, it has indeed. So we've got one more presentation to go. Uncle uh, Uncle Frizz and Ash. The presentation of this final in the medals and the cup to Exeter City will be made in a very few minutes in front of the grandstand and that will be the players' medals as well. All the medals and the cup. We've got one on the way already. He gave me that evil stare. Come on. Oh, is he on his way now, He's is he? He's on his way. Oh, excellent. He's on his way. He, he gave me that stare and... Uh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, there you go. So we've got, we've got the head coach. So congratulations on that. Um team did really well didn't they in that game oh yes definitely Prem 1 is just unbelievable like Gary Carpenter up front number 61 he's just different level as you saw he's even tried that overhead kick wow I just he just amazed me yeah we uh, we saw that um early on we could identify he was he was the uh, the target man um, but actually the whole squad played really well even the defending the last couple of minutes it was you know Pinot get on back, you never know, but no, the whole team did really well. You must be proud of them today. Oh, definitely. I'm proud of every single team. I mean, the ladies just actually qualifying. They've never qualified here before, so that was a massive achievement. Um, the results that they got compared to what they normally have against some of the teams was better results. Um, the intermediate team gave it all. Obviously, I went up against higher opposition. My team, the championship team, got into the final. And then obviously Prem 1 just topped it off with a win for the County Cup. So that's brilliant. Yeah, they, they'll say everyone's done really well. Um, you, uh, your club. Um, uh, but the, the, the day's been really good as well, isn't it? You know, everyone's played the game properly the way it's meant to be played. Yes, definitely. It's really hot, really hot day. So I've got to say really well done to every single player that's played today. It's been unbelievable because of... It's so hot. Like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm boiling and I'm out here and I'm not even <laughs> running around. So, and you see the effort in that from both teams. It's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah thank you. That was, uh, that was really good. Uh, well done. And you can go and celebrate with the team now. <laughs> so we, so we got, got one interview done before the uh, presentation, you see. Um, so now the presentation's going to happen for... Yeah, we got the four here, and uh, Morris Beckenham had to uh, had to shoot early. So, uh, yeah, we'll we'll get Morris his uh, his award. Get that to him. Uh, but thank you, Morris. If when you watch this back.
Now we come to the runners up. So there they come here come Pino to get their uh, their trophies their rewards. Uh, they've been they've been really good, uh, and and as a as a new team, um, not been in the league very long. Not you know they they've played really really well this season, uh, and it's been a pleasure to have them here today at Coach Road, uh, and they've battled all the way to the end. So Exeter City, go and get theirs. On they go. There they go. Um, and obviously in their squad numbers, I mean 95, 19, 22, 80, 49, 61. And then they'll have their uh, they'll have their photos done behind the banner that says Devon FA County Cup final winners. There's a couple of them carrying a little bit of uh, a few knocks, be a few sore legs in the morning. I think it probably takes a lot out of any player, let alone disability yeah, players, yeah, to play that many that games in that heat. Their uh, their legs will be uh, there'll be some sore legs, yeah, and probably some sore heads now in the morning. Absolutely. So the captain's on his way up. With a little one, yeah. And they're smiling for the camera. Wow. <laughs> what a lovely picture! Yeah. <laughs> now he's going up to get the cup. Just remembering, you know, 10, 15, 20 years' time, that picture will still be going out. Absolutely. And here he goes, Exeter there City. Goes. Winners of the Devon Ability Counts Premier Cup. <laughs> is he going to lift it up or is he going to lift the little one up as well as the cup? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well played, Exeter City. Well played to everyone. Um, that um, that brings us to the end of our broadcast. Started at ten o'clock. It did indeed. Um, Doesn't that seem like a long time away does. now? Mark, thank you. Thank you. It's for been today. my pleasure, and it has, thank you guys for all the media work during this FA uh, Devon <laughs> County Cups season. And uh, unfortunately, I won't be with you for the um, the walking football. So I'll be no, watching I'm, that. I'm not here for that either. I'll be watching that on TV. No, I'm not here for that either. Um, yeah, unfortunately, the uh, walking football f falls on my wedding anniversary, so I won't be here for that one. I mean, I'm sure Joanne would let me, but you know, best I don't uh, push that. So anyway, thank you for everyone for today, players, spectators, coaches. Match officials, volunteers, production team, um, thank you very much. That brings us to the end of our coverage of the Devon Ability County Cup Finals. And we'll see you all on Friday for the Walking Football Finals, live from 7pm. Thank you very much.